Alright, this is day zero. Podcast. We got Sol this time, but we had him last time. Hey, we got Sol in here. Let's go. Hell yeah! All right. Yeah, but he was a special guest last time. Now he's like an unofficial member. I might be the special. I'd, guest I'd, I'd argue I was the side guest, but yes. Anyway, no, no. Daniel, Daniel's I'll, I'll the special guest now. Sol was the side quest. It's been it's been a really long time since Daniel joined us. Yeah, I know. Look at him, look at him guys, looking, me, looking extra scrumptious today, my boy. Yeah, he, he, yeah, the boys. After he went uh, real estate status, <sighs> that's it. You, you have, have to, bro, anymore. you have to, bro. He's famous on TikTok Selling now. Selling sales. Yeah, yeah somewhat. Doing, uh, I, I, somewhat. I, <laughs> locally, I'm decent. Yeah, yeah. I guess we can start off with that, Daniel. Where have you been? He's Tell e the fans bro, they've been asking. He, he's, his ego is as high as the ceilings. That's the whole thing. What? Bro, I'm literally the ceiling. You're talking about, he's talking about ego. Wait till you guys hear the story we're going to tell you later. Wait till we hear what story. No, about code. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Well, for later, for later. Don't for worry. Later. Anyway, but later. yeah, Daniel, where where anyway, have you been? Uh, where have you been, man? <clears throat> uh, been go. Uh, so my family own a real estate business. Been working with them. Um, they lost a couple of staff, so I returned to that. It was my calling for a while, so I was like, you know, what? I'll just return. I didn't enjoy it the first two times, and then I went back and actually um, started focusing on it. So yeah, and I'm actually starting to enjoy it now. I'm trying to do that and trying to do some uh fitness with the boys as well we're all trying to really focus this year so trying to do gym trying to do my steps uh eating still, good and everything yeah, yeah. Eat, trying to eat as good as possible uh still working at the pizza shop three days a week instead of the full week because i'm doing real estate obviously shout out to charlie shout out charlie and shout out jackie and shout out the kids how is tiktok treating you like honest reaction like how is that whole what, world estate? yeah like treating how is that whole social world treating you and how are you finding it venturing into that it's all right honestly i just started doing it like out of nowhere and then i my dad's getting more stuff out of it to be honest but he's got more experience so his videos are a bit more um information and more um more realistic like he knows his stuff and then the way he talks is more uh, genuine like a lot I, of people record like like i was saying to you guys a lot of people record like the uh the pro house tours cuts and all that my dad just does it on like his iphone like 14 like here 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 people prefer that especially for um i feel like people prefer that especially for houses that are more affordable a lot of people do it for like the million the two houses, million yeah. yeah like but he's he's loving it i'm loving it and we've gotten recently just like i was at the gym the other day some guy came and he started recording this is daniel from first national real estate yada, yada. <laughs> um, it was funny it's cool it's cool to like i mean quick shout out to daniel jalal his father and leali my yeah. sister and his mom thank you to first national metal heights yes. good luck to you love you guys yeah the boys bro it's we like to hear well, and, 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 and another special guest samuel tali yeah if you guys haven't noticed we got another special guest here he, he that tell us about the outfit why are you wearing this? What outfit? What outfit? <laughs> <laughs> so, this is what I wear every day. So Co Code's been there. really wanting to you cosplay. Made, you made me this way. The this man. Is, this is everywhere, everywhere I go. Hey, are you that guy? Hey, are you I Sam am that guy now. He is now. <laughs> so where have we been? Uh, this is the first time we're going to talk about a trip that we went to uh how long ago has it been well we've done a lot two of, weeks we've done three? a lot of trips together but no, this no, is the five only five one we yeah, five weeks yeah five since weeks been back? since no it's not since we've been no. back we've been about four three weeks since we've been back yeah, yeah. something yeah. like that yeah. yeah we've done a bunch of trips together but this is the first one we actually committed to making it into a trip and documenting it yeah but well, we so haven't no, actually done not all in America. We've haven't did done. We? Yeah, you really? documented America. I mean, yeah. didn't you just make I, I did. I, oh, did. I just tried to, him. but it was just oh, the event. Yeah, this yeah. is just like a group, yeah. a group trip. Oh, so we had the first one, uh, first trip, all four of us. Yeah, exactly. We first never time. actually had. It's so, been all separate. <clears throat> one person. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so we mentioned on the last podcast um, that we were going to Dubai, and we went to MFCC. Was it? Middle yeah. Eastern Film and Festival Film M M M e -F -C -C. M -E -F -C. Yeah, MEFCC. MEFCC. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a mouthful, but it's like yeah, a <laughs> um, which was amazing. I mean, I'm sure we want we all going to talk about our experiences. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, starting off with the trip, I guess we we all travel together. Yeah. Oh, we really want to we, talk we, about we, that. We, we, to, we got to thank uh, 
MEFCC for the whole trip and mm -hmm. taking the boys with us they accommodated us and yeah it was just an amazing trip so who is there anyone at mefcc that you specifically want to give yeah, a shout we, out to we worked with um amen the whole time he's yeah. the one that reached out he's the one that brought us out and i got the email and he connected us to everyone and he's the one that met us i think we met him at the airport i met him oh you might have met him at, at the, the airport, airport. Yeah. did we did meet him at the airport, airport? oh no no we so. met him as soon as we got to the hotel yes so yeah as soon as we yeah. got to the hotel I wasn't sure that was him because I didn't think he introduced me himself. By oh, him. yeah, that was mm -hmm. actually by accident, though. That <laughs> yeah, was yeah. at random. Yeah, we didn't even yeah. plan to meet him. He was but yeah, shout, shout out to yeah. Amen. Shout honestly. out to Amen. Thank yeah. you so much shout for hooking us up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hooked us up. We had a great time. And he also connected us with Abu, Visa Abu Dhabi, yes. yeah. who, oh, man, set up a really big uh, few days for us, which we'll get into anyways. Yeah. But, yeah. but the flight, we all had an amazing flight. Every single one of us. Every on single table, one of us, the flight on this there. Table had an amazing, amazing flight. flight. Yes. Starting with Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> bro, my flight wasn't that bad. But when you guys say, like, listen, he, he was in his first class. They were in uh, business. business. I was in yeah. economy. Uh, to be fair, they did offer to um, upgrade the seat. I'm like, nah, there's no point. It's just a waste of money. I can take it. And I did. But when you get... The other people saying, oh, I've got a sore back. And when they have their full <laughs> reclined seats, I'm like, that's what I'm like. You know what? Shut your I mouth. Mean, to be fair, thinking about it in hindsight, you see those YouTube channels where a team does all the tiers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We basically did that. You did first, we did business, he did economy. And then yeah. on the return, we did the premium economy. Mm. Oh, yeah. So we, we did a whole everything. experience with yeah. Emirat. Yeah. Uh, Emirates. Uh, I don't know. It's pronounced Emirat, right? Emirates. Emirates. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Bro's just sorry. trying to be bougie. Bro. I'm sorry. I just, I'm used to saying that like that. Bro, I don't know. Bro, bro went to the Emirates. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know why you went for. Yeah. Halal, bro went to Dubai. Emirati. Yeah, Emirati. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why he went for halal fancy. <laughs> halal fancy. Well, well I, I really did want to say a huge thank you to the crew and the, uh, the team for the flight on yeah, that Emirates. Was, yeah. Honestly, it was. We were very lucky enough to be able to fly business and experience that, but. That team, the crew, honestly made the flight, especially for Sol and I, because we were, we were flying business once again oh, we together, right. and the crew treated us like, I don't know how to explain it, like family. We hung out with the crew, the flight crew, the attendants and everything for most of the majority of the flight. Pretty much. They, and, they, yeah, they looked after us for about, what, three, four hours, like actually personally looked out for us. There wasn't a full flight, so mm -hmm. that helped, but it was led by Dalila, I think her name was. The yeah, I think so. I, I could yeah, be mistaken. I think so. Yeah, if I got her name wrong, I'm <clears> sorry. <throat> <Yeah>. <laughs> but she was a lead supervisor for the team, and she was honestly the most hospitable uh, flight attendant I've ever experienced. And her whole team, like Mikhail, who was working at the, the bar, the bar, yeah. he made us drinks just to kill time, and showed us some fancy drinks, let us capture mm -hmm. it. Yeah, get exactly. Some footage of it. it was amazing. Like genuinely a world class actual experience, which you'd want, right? Like, exactly. Business class and first and whatever, like without sounding bougie and very unappreciated but you want a nice experience you want something to come home and talk about yeah. right yeah they and definitely I, I, I got that like i got to experience first class for the first time and that's something i never thought i would experience but it's like <laughs> sorry i'm just seeing daniel's face <laughs> i'm listening zoom, zoom to his face <laughs> cheers to that music i'm listening uh, yeah yeah so i got the experience for, for the first time and it's like i don't know how you go back like to like even business or mm -hmm. the one before that because yeah. you get a basically a bed you get your own like cubicle shuts like the home like there's doors that shut and they don't disturb you you can mm -hmm. get food made for you any time of day and night and the crew is just amazing like as you were saying though they, they treated you like you know so hospital me there's like in first class like they treat you like royalty it's mm -hmm. like, and i'm like the worst part is is i don't sleep on planes yeah but for the first time on first class it's like i didn't even want to sleep i felt comfortable the whole way through you're just feeling out the experience yeah, and really but taking now it in. Yeah. now thinking about trips going forward i'm not going to financially recover. yeah i, I, yeah. That <laughs> I, I mean I got, I got breaking news for you how you go back money i'm not gonna find I, I, I didn't want to mention um also i just want to thank emirates the whole team the whole crew everyone it's like they were like second to none yeah. and i want to just just fly everywhere on emirates but mm -hmm. unfortunately they don't fly everywhere yeah, yeah well, ju ju just, yeah, just just to say this is not a sponsorship by any means this is just our genuine experience yes yeah, but if you want but to, if you want to <laughs> yeah, please reach out we would absolutely <laughs> love that <laughs> I, will, I will live in your plane <laughs> i mean I'll, I'll just yeah i kind of want to go back to how much effort they actually put through with helping us even get content right like 
they took Shandy to first class yeah. to actually document the spa, the shower, the hot room, whatever it mm-hmm. was. Like they actually made genuine effort to let us get footage and they didn't have to. There's literally no need for that. But they just wanted to actually be genuinely hospitable and like even made friends by the end of it. It was a really, exactly, really yeah. unique experience and that's all you could really ask for. Hey Daniel, how, and was, yeah, your... Daniel, how was your how was your <laughs> oh, experience uh, flying? Like, economy peasant, bro. <laughs> 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 no, they were good to me too, but it's just like hi bye, bro. <laughs> 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 it's like to, uh, how uh, many uh, people uh, in yeah. that one? Oh, you want a Pepsi? <laughs> yeah, that's literally <laughs> like I can't really they were nice. Nice. Like, yeah, they were uh, good It's to strange. Me, I feel like I feel like uh from the outside looking in, people would be like, Okay, you're flying a business, of course they're gonna treat you that way. But it was different because we actually weirdly enough people might find it strange we're talking about just life in general with the attendants even with other members or yeah. other what's the word people for people flying yeah just yeah. other people flying mm. which, uh, which is good because on planes usually it feels all robotic yeah you're like you speak to the flight attendants as if for like you're never going to see them again and you don't really care about like mm. what happens outside the pretty much that's, plane. Is, that's exactly but what this is, is what you guys found out about their lives they taught you they you even became friends outside your own social friends with yeah. some of them now. So it kind of broadens your experience outside the plane. But that's what yeah. it was though, right? Like with uh, the supervisor, she basically gave us a whole tour breakdown of what to do when we're there in Dubai. Gave us what she's experienced on flights, like her worst experiences, like what routes she loves, how often, like what the actual real lifestyle of a uh, uh, flight attendant is and it was a nice breakdown right you think it's all glam and lovey-dovey and all like amazing but it's not there's a lot of negativity towards it but also even with mikhail i told him that i was naming my first son after his namesake and we became best friends on the flight which was nice i don't know if i ever gonna see him again but it was yeah. nice hey mikhail if you see uh, yourself uh, oh, yeah. well, uh, speaking of congratulations so, congratulations yeah, Sol's having a son, a son by the way yeah it's yeah. like we mentioned it like with thank the you, reveal thank you. Thank you, but you. he's having a son and it's like yeah. he's, excited, go, he's gonna yeah. love him more than all of us <laughs> yeah we're really my looking spot, forward my spotlight to. just keeps getting taken uh, yeah. well uh, i was the original goes i was the original son nephew, goes, bro, son the goes only <laughs> yeah i was gonna i was gonna say just uh you know even after the flight the treatment also in shout Dubai. out to Leal. she's part of it too oh. yeah, shout out to oh, yeah, shout out to <laughs> Leal. i love you <laughs> Right, I, was, I was gonna say after the flight even the teams in dubai the, the airport themselves were pretty great like and what was that the, the service called marhaba marhaba, marhaba. marhaba, service. Uh, marhaba. That, did we get that when we get that when we were leaving not landing right no we got that on landing bro no on the way back it was on the way no, back they drove us around that wasn't there was that, the was, that was part of the that was different yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. i still felt bougie yeah. yeah marhaba was awesome though yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, i'm just gonna say it is the weirdest feeling being driven around an airport in a little car yeah. uh, it was so strange to me like i'm so i'm not used to that mm. and you just have everyone looking at you like, it's like what are you doing what's your it's like, it's like you're those? driving in those little cab things and it's like they're playing all you all I'll do is win 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's, it feels like it's in slow motion and everyone's just looking at you it's i mean like, if they're like yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you suffer from social anxiety where you feel like the world's watching you, the world's watching you when you're on that booty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone was jealous for 100%. Um, they just didn't want to walk that yeah. shit. Thank you to the whole team once again. Yeah, and, thank uh, you for everything. Uh, so I, I did want to get into the, I guess, our experience even getting to Abu Dhabi because that was our first location after landing in Dubai. I was genuinely surprised about the airport. We got out of the airport. From the plane to the outside the airport was like 15 minutes. Yeah unlike yeah. like when you go to the states it's like you're there for so they four hours they drove us in. No, plus they had the even trains get, even, plus they had the even trains getting in. out of customs man both abu dhabi and dubai's airport was so much faster than melbourne and america's yeah uh, that LAX is true that, that was yeah. so fast like we were in and out it's like that's it yeah true yeah, but uh yeah the, the, the drive the <laughs> the drive uh from dubai to abu dhabi was I mean, I think we were really tired at the time, but it was really nice. But I didn't actually get to experience the whole, like, I guess, wow factor of Dubai till we had returned at the time. The drive itself was really nice, really quick. Uh, mm-hmm. I actually, Daniel and I really got to explore Abu Dhabi while we were there going out at, an, at night and everything during our breaks. And mm-hmm. the people, at least for us, it felt like we were really at home and the people treated us like amazing especially when they found that that we spoke arabic yeah. and we're of yeah. middle eastern yeah, background like, as soon as you like hear if, you, if you if you're genuinely mm. from like america and australia or wherever and but you do speak arabic you're like got an arabic mm-hmm. background use that 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes it just a lot feels, of people, feels weird. I don't know. No, it doesn't feel it was, weird. When it I was, it never felt weird there. It yeah. felt weird not being Arabic there. No, I don't know, but it just feels like these people don't do you, talk Arabic. Do, do you though. agree with him? I don't know. No, I'm saying some people didn't <laughs> got, look like they spoke Arabic, but they did. So it was just a bit weird just saying Dude, look, 90% let's be honest, let's be honest, people right? speak you're, Arabic. You're in, you're in the Emirates. <laughs> but it's not just that, right? Like, you can... But some, you can some see if someone's a tourist from another country. It's mm-hmm. pretty obvious when you're there. Nah, some of them didn't what look like saying, they. What are you saying? Some of them didn't look like they spoke Arabic, and then they did. Like it was just sometimes. Bro, everyone spoke. Everyone that we but spoke. They didn't to look spoke like Arabic. they spoke yeah. it. That's what I'm saying. It didn't look like they. Either could way, speak what code was trying or you were trying to say? No, no, what I was trying. What Shadow was trying to say is basically. Uh, speaking Arabic in an Arabic speaking nation yes, is a yes, bit of a superpower. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. yeah, I mean, uh, but not even like uh, even before we started speaking Arabic, they were really, really welcoming people. I didn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah they were. I mean, very nice people. Uh, it's like they're it's just, they they're like your friends when you're talking to them normally. Exactly. But when you speak Arabic, you're like family. Yeah, that's exactly. That's <laughs> literally it. And uh, but yeah, I mean, getting to the actual convention, we were staying at the hotel right beside it. Which is really convenient, right. lucky for yeah. us. I, I, I really wanted to thank the team at Aloft Hotel uh, for even they g- gave us the permissions to film there and our experience, and we're more than happy to you know uh, have us stay with them. And honestly, it was a great experience. I really, really loved it. Daniel and I were training while we were there as well, and Code would join us whenever he could. And we were busy working and all that, but. Yeah, I just wanted to get into the conventions. Uh, Unfortunately, we never really spoke about it. From the airport, Sol didn't join us at the start of it. He actually went over to Syria uh, to visit some family, right? Yeah, family, uh, wife's family and whatnot. But yeah, it was basically a last minute decision. It was something I decided a week before the flight. I said, if I'm in the Middle East, I might as well go there. I mean, since like I have some aging uncles, aging family members. So I'm like, look, who, who knows what could happen in a year or two? So I'm like, all right, I'll do it. I made sure I kept it a surprise, <laughs> like to the absolute T of it all. I made sure no one knew. I think a total of three people knew. It's just, if I had my time over again, the celebration when I got there and the excitement was great, but doing everything on the same day. So flying 14 hours to the bay, taking a bus, going to terminal one, waiting six hours at the airport, flying <laughs> yeah, four hours to Lebanon. Yeah. And then from Lebanon to Syria, four hour drive in traffic. So we arrived there on, like 9 p.m. there i had no sleep for about 26 or 27 hours but yeah it was amazing but i did yeah miss out on that whole story they just broke down that's my first time here yeah. so there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's all right but uh yeah, well i mean how was I your looked, how, yeah, was, how was the how experience was, in syria he was only there for like was, three two three yeah, days yeah three days three days yeah. and well three nights and four nights or well, three nights and four days yeah. yeah but it was look it was everything i wanted it to be in the sense that i saw everyone i wanted to see and I got to experience what I could, like I got some good footage and whatnot, but honestly with lack of sleep, time zone difference, all that whatnot, you didn't, I didn't really get to soak it up for what it was. So, but it gave me the appetite to want to go back again next year. Hopefully when Mikhail's born and a year old, we'll take him Shall back, we, me and Leal and go see the family again. Hopefully we don't yeah. lose anyone in that time. Yeah. God forbid. Inshallah, Syria's um, in a better state by then as well it's not, it's not horrible it's, it's getting just, better every yes, year yeah. so hopefully hmm. by next year it's even better so. fingers yeah. crossed yeah. Oh, oh, well, I was saying fast Good forward while he was in yeah. Syria we were at the convention meeting a lot of Codes fans mm. uh, and had an absolutely amazing time uh, met a lot of other creators over there who were amazing uh, yeah I mean what, how was your experience I mean, mainly for you Code it was actually surprising because <clears> as you know we, we do like the New York circuit we do the SDCC done chicago where else have we done australia and this one here is kind of it kind of felt the same but with a different audience like the audience is like when i said when they knew we were arabic they felt like family so the whole audience felt like family yeah. and they treated us awesome they like um even some of the staff were arabic too and, the, and the staff yeah. were awesome the people that were helping us there mm. um and all everyone we met mm-hmm. just made our stay cool even the artist we said the booth with yeah uh, the experience was the reason i was surprised because i didn't really think the middle east had that in it like had that sort of experience that will will make me feel like it's one of those top cons that we go to Mm -hmm. and it does hold itself high yeah it blew us away honestly like yeah i was beyond shocked and the pool of talent as well in that like in the artist alley like we walked around and there's yeah. a lot of good artists like mm. a lot of unknown people that 
no one really knows is they just go to cons and show off their work yeah but i met some people added them on instagram and it's like high caliber people yeah, like, yeah. it's crazy that there's talent everywhere and that's why yeah. like well that's one of the reasons i did the blackout so i can find people mm-hmm. and i literally found people not using a blackout i found them there yeah and those guys like 100 percent, will be part of the blackout in the future because they're that good and hopefully i can just like keep expanding i'm, I'm hopefully going back it's not confirmed yet but at the, in december mm-hmm. there's a thing called um or something the block run the block run the block is I it? i think so oh so you said it was called so hopefully. <laughs> i think it's good <laughs> i apologize if it's not called run the block but it's something with the block and yeah. what's it got to do with is the same sort of like it's it's, comic- it's it's for creators and comics and all that sort of stuff and they all get together and like all the heavy hitters are there all the big you know heads with the mm-hmm. in that industry are there mm-hmm. so it's a good place for contact it's a good place to meet artists so i'm, I'm hoping to go there like and try to like if i wanted to open up in dubai i think that's the place to meet the people yeah and after visiting it this time around uh, i fell in love with it in the sense that if i wanted the secondary hub anywhere it used to be i wanted it to be in new york or la but it just feels more comfortable here mm-hmm. because it's right next to the Syria, mm. which is genuine home. Mm-hmm. And when Syria is good again, I have a hub there where I can do business mm-hmm. and be next to my home. Mm. That's just like kind of a dream now, yeah. dream sequence. So hopefully that works. I, I, I kind of wanted to bring up, I don't know if any of you guys noticed at the convention, I'm sure other conventions do it. But I really like the fact that they were really trying to support the local artists there. Yeah. Did you notice like a, a, a huge majority of the artists there were local artists that were unknown, but it was just really cool to see that. And they were all trying to support each other mm-hmm. and like bring each other together. Uh, like I said, I it probably happens at other conventions, but I haven't felt that or seen that at the ones that I have been to this extent. I would argue that that's it's more different than the other cons we've been to right we've been to america with sdcc and whatnot you think you guys went to new york comic con yes yeah yeah or chicago as well right i didn't I, go to chicago, chicago. He did. me, yeah so you've been to so america <laughs> and similar to australia would be the sense that everyone there would be from that region mm-hmm. with the uae it's different because there's people from qatar from saudi arabia and all that all coming to that event so it's all different actual nationalities the same culture but different nationality so what that gives more emphasis to is local artists mm-hmm. because there's so many actual tourists people from outside of right yeah so it makes sense because if you do like a supernova and that right you can't really sell them as australian artists because it's predominantly australian right the, and, the guests with the actual uh spectators and visitors and whatnot and that's what i noticed at this con the biggest thing i noticed at this con on it's a bit not controversial to this to this side of things but to outside of things is there was no gatekeeping and there was no um animosity towards any other artist everyone yeah. supported no, everyone so, yeah. everyone good. loved everyone every booth loved every booth if there, there was support between competitions i like, think that's symptomatic of the whole region though right the whole was, trip really everyone was just, a everyone beautiful, was just, it was just nice, a beautiful yeah. thing to see yep it's like when someone like the guy next to me like like the artist next to me would send people to my area because they they want a certain thing and they know i have it or then they know that's my style so they send it to me and I, i've never really had that with any mm. other con yeah like no one ever yeah. sends it's an artist like- would never like well not to my knowledge an artist will, won't send another person to someone else to, yeah. to get something like yeah. losing business yeah. Like, yeah and I, I saw that like tenfold at this thing and it's like it's just I'm at art to see that sort of thing. Yeah. And that's what inspires me and motivates me to do more for that region. Yeah. And I'm not just talking for, for the UAE, just the whole Middle East. Because that's like where we're from. Like, uh, why not put us on the map? Yeah, I think yeah. it's good. I think it's good to have a balance between your Australian fan base and your second home fan base, right? So yeah. it's a balance between the two. Because Australia is kind of what helped you get there with America. The, never, West, the West. I would, the- I would never give up on Australia. Australia is always the top one that's what i'm saying i think the west I, I, helped you get to where you are but doesn't mean you can't give back to your actual birth home too yeah. right so it's a good balance that's it's what nice. i was like by the time this comes out 
like it will still be before supernova i wanted to do supernova again just to be like see the fans again and just uh, i just don't like doing that whole con work just do it more exclusive then like go Maybe there just with do a one few day. prints yeah one day yeah. just see the fans because honestly that's what it's all about man yeah like at some point you can probably lose yourself in the trips in the tourist like going all that sort of stuff going around the world you sometimes have to go back to your actual route where it yeah. all began right which yeah. is supernovas which is that your fans are still there thankfully so yeah. always yeah, get back I, to them I, when you I, get a chance i have to do something i have to do something for them yeah yeah because i just i'm just starting to feel like i think something i wanted to say as well which surprised me i don't know if it should in hindsight but the middle east in general so syria and uh the uae obviously they had a lot of uh visitors from qatar and all that over there they are massive anime heads like i mean right. oh big. my yeah, dude like, yeah, yes they're, 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 they're so they're so yeah. animated anime focused that it's like i didn't like it wasn't even an like, anime I did convention good, i did good there it had anime, Somewhat, it had Somewhat, anime special but guests like, had anime. I, did, yeah, yeah. I did good there oh yeah but it's like I, good I, in I, terms I, of like what sales like and stuff sales yeah, yeah, yeah. and interactions and stuff yeah, yeah, but yeah. i didn't do as good as i thought i would because every like I'd say four, nine, nine four, times out of ten, I would yeah, say. Yeah, so it was like four out of five people mm -hmm. would ask for anime stuff. And it's yeah. like, I know the dude from One Piece was there, or two of them were there. And yeah, like even the piece. even some the of the writers, writers and yeah. all yeah. that yeah. were from One Piece were there. And it's like uh, the live action writers as well, or like a whole bunch of, for the live action. Mm -hmm. And no one would like the live action stuff. It's like yeah. people want, you know, the anime. Yeah. And, and that's fair enough. But, but now I know what they like. Though. Yeah. But yeah. that's that's kind of why it surprised me, right? I I think back to our roots, right? Growing up, mom and dad just imagining our cousins, our uncles, watching anime was like out of this world. It was just the most unrealistic thing on earth. But when I went to Syria, even our younger cousins, so our cousins' kids, they were all watching One Piece. They were all into that sort of stuff, mm. sharing those sort of things. And I'm just like, my brain's just like, this yeah. is wild. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. But this is wild. Yeah. <laughs> it's grown a lot. It's grown a lot. Yeah, I mean, I mean, especially like I remember Daniel and I when we were going around. Oh, and interacting with Codes fans as well. Just completely taken aback by, like you said, the amount of anime heads there are. That mm -hmm. was like their sole focus, anime, anime, that's anime, what, That's anime. why a lot of my and stuff that was getting sold there, the most yeah. of my stuff was Dragon Ball Z. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Dragon Ball Z, we got a... Yeah, rest uh, rest yeah. in peace, May Akira, rest in peace Akira. Um, Yeah, that was just sad news. It's like... I have to it's, 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 it just took us back all the way to... Like, the back to the old days. Speaking of, right? The childhood. The childhood, yeah. everything yeah. you think about cheese tv being late for school because of it yeah mm -hmm. all goes back to him yeah. Yeah. it's wild to think about like we are of different ages mm -hmm. but we all have and share that experience as do a lot of other people yeah because and that experience is, is the, the the experience that makes you grow up it's like except daniel this yeah. guy yeah. That's what I'm, saying. Saying. <laughs> I'm looking at that he's shaking his head i'm like <laughs> okay so, bro, I was okay. An xbox boy well, yeah. experience <laughs> dragon was he at least in school at all not no, friends no, wise no, nothing? no 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 this guy how what, this, what this guy's miss? this guy's literally on <laughs> we went i went to an islamic he's school, not he's bro. not, not even, watching that he's, he's if not we're even, being honest this guy's not on cell he's not on gohan j2 yet Wow. He's not there yet. Bro, I'm on the cell, cell arc <laughs> I'm just final glad, form. I'm just glad you've got the cell at this point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> got no, I, re I remember my, bro my brother and I grew up, like when we were young, now our go-to was get home, sit down, watch Dragon Ball, and then we grew, went up to Dragon Ball Z, and that's something that we really bundled on. And uh, man, it's it's a really is a shame. I think honestly, that's the way me. I look at it, right, is you look at his life in the sense of that's something if everyone had a choice, when they were to leave this earth if there's something you had achieved he's he's the way he checked out mm. was what everyone would arguably choose in my opinion like me at least i would you're literally leaving behind a generate not just generation right you look at the different actual communities right mm -hmm. the different nationalities religions all these people are all connected through dragon Ball. yeah, yeah. like it, he's done other stuff obviously but mm. dragon ball is the big one right there's athletes there's scholars there's all these people that are just sharing yeah. their, mo their just, memories of dragon the thing War. is i just wish he knew that everyone... i'm sure he did now, i'm the, sure the, he the did. thing is i don't know if he did because before that you you even know dragon ball z always co copped flack from a lot of people and a lot of different people because it's not, like they usually find it as the the third tier or the, yeah yeah it's or, the, not... or the vanilla mm -hmm. and it's like it was always hated on on that sort of fact that, oh dragon ball z this this this, this. but after the passing you saw like CNN or you saw like a news reporter wearing Goku's thing. I wish, I, I hope he knew that that is that. I big. would, I would gauge yeah. that he did mainly because of the, 
I guess the celebrations they have in Japan with those characters, right? Yeah. With Goku and Vegeta specifically mm-hmm. at the Olympics, or that's massive, right? You don't get to that point if you haven't made a difference. Mm. Like, he, he, he built. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not sure if the term is right. A legacy. Yeah, oh, 100%. That's, that's what it is, 100%. and that's it, something it, a lot of people strive to do. And don't get now, to, but he, he now did it's much stronger. Now. Yes, it's much stronger. And his last show he worked on, I forgot what it's called. Dragon Ball. I forgot. It starts with D, I think. I forgot what the the new show, the one where they look like kids. The, the I know show. what you're talking about. I don't remember the yeah, name of it. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't Dogma, was it? No, 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 no. no it wasn't. I don't know. Anyway, but that's the last show he worked on, and no one knows what it's like fully on about. But it's like now I'm excited for that to see what he worked mm. on last because yeah. I don't know if he knew his time was coming, but it's like this whole like reset, a new future, a new path, and stuff. It's just kind of like it's scary that it kind of fits this sort of thing yeah it's like a new yeah 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 that is an interesting way to look at it yeah but um but yeah anyway but back to it rest in peace yeah rest in peace peace. and thank you so much for everything like you inspired us i i literally started drawing from dragon ball z Mm -hmm. and wrestling so those are the two things that made me fail school in a good in a good good way but yeah um yeah back to the topic at hand yeah so i wanted you to tell us about the story of the two kids and what they did with the challenge they challenged you so basically this kid named yusuf and his friend uh came to the booth i don't know if they were going to buy anything in the first place but Mm -hmm. they're like straight away they saw me drawing and they're like is that the yusuf was like is that the best you can do i'm like no he goes good because that's not great yeah and i'm like (laughs) pretty much insulted (laughs) I'm i'm like I've been here like for two days and the first person that's insulted me like really, really bad. <laughs> he goes, I'll tell you what, if I can draw better than you, I get a free print. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? Well, I was going to give him a free print because I like felt sorry for him and stuff. But it's like, okay, come around. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you draw. And then he's like, his friend's like, okay, okay. We got in there. We, let's, let's get more than one print. I'm like, yeah, he was calm the down, man. Guy. I'm like, calm down. He was the business You're man. getting one print. Like, yeah. You're getting one print. It was like, literally the artist like the and his manager. Yeah. 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 And so, yeah, so he sat down. He goes, give me give me something to draw. I I, I need something. Like, I can't just draw something off a the top. A reference point. He needs, yeah. he needs a refer- re- yeah. reference point. And I'm like, okay, uh, draw this guy. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, draw, draw him. He goes, okay. And he starts drawing, start, starts sketching. And he's like, he's got a big head. Yeah, he, no, he's literally said it to my face. <laughs> he goes, he's got your forehead's massive. Bro. He, he, he goes, do you mind if I still draw him with a big head? I'm like, draw it as big as you want. Like, like over exaggerate his forehead, over, over basically. Here. No, he didn't even. He thought it was that big. <laughs> <laughs> I and I'll, I'll put it up on screen, guys, okay. uh, so you could see the final bro, drawing. Bro, it was this, <laughs> this kid was like drawing like his some of like he's been practicing forever he's, he's doing the whole thumb yeah yeah like the thumb size the pen like to the head to measure size i'm like after i finished, saw his drawing i'm like he didn't need all those like shikis that he was trying to do <laughs> yeah. but anyway he drew the picture it's like i found that hilarious it's funny he, he's using it as his profile picture mm-hmm. still yeah. Is it, is it still yeah, 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 yeah. and yeah i gave the kid a free print and i, I also gave a print to his friend and he goes his friend's like oh, i want to tag you do what's your account so i told him my socials and all i saw is his friend said hey he's got so many followers he can give more prints they got a photo as well and everything yeah, like, oh. it was a good it was, but they, they, after that after they got like after they saw i don't know if they saw the profile or because I, I gave him like heaps of prints and stuff they become so humble and nice yeah and they were like really good kids yusuf from syria he was like telling me like his whole backstory and all that sort of things but it's like the cool experience is, is that i see like a young artist trying to do like what i do and he's like also said he was like not going great at school and his parents were like if yeah you see similar traits here yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, so. I saw everything that i grew up in, in that kid yeah. and and you yeah. he reminded you of uh, you and Ali, yeah. You said Th- those two brother, kids yeah. reminded me of me and Ali. Mm. I was the other kid in that that, that story, even <laughs> though that kid was drawing. But me trying to make like deals that make no sense was me. <laughs> but yeah, those kids. Shout out to them. I think yeah, that's uh, that was a really good experience. Going back to the con experience, right? That's for us anyway. We're there just to help you out, right? Yeah. We're not. We're not. We're kind of there for the whole experience, but 
seeing the the actual fans right the ones that really know you and follow you and stuff the genuine excitement they have when they meet you mm. i think that's just it i don't know if it ever gets kind of you ever get used to that yeah. feeling but observing it yeah. it would i can imagine it would feel, I, I, I feel like a like genuinely father, knowing bro. you've actually somewhat yeah. affected someone's life because you see it and just yeah. the real yeah. emotion when they see that, you it's some of that stuff hits me like really hard like for people that tell me about the genuine change and the genuine things that they've changed in their life because of me mm. that that hits me hard because it makes everything that i don't like about myself and don't like growing up worth it because mm. they've changed and i've helped them out so i feel like i've done something other than just pictures and art but then you got the other side where people who like get nervous to talk to you yeah and people get like shiver <laughs> yeah, or shakes yeah. that always like i always pause there it's like i i need them to be we're the same people we're the same yeah. things it's like yeah be cool it's like i remember there was a i don't know if it was from poland it was definitely from eastern europe and at the con at the the one in dubai oh abu dhabi yeah abu dhabi, abu dhabi. yeah he's like he was i saw him from afar and he was talking to his partner i think it was and he was so excited like he was jumping enjoying i'm like is this for code yeah. <laughs> and then he comes and he finally sees you and he introduces himself and he's just the genuine happiness on their face it's it's, it's cool yeah mm. it, it makes me and that's we that's, that's, that's the difference between this con and the other cons as well like other cons i get tagged and i see people like with their prints and all that sort of stuff saying shout out we got to meet boss and all this stuff which is awesome dope this con that the the tags and the stories i've been getting it's like seriously novels mm -hmm. of yeah, like how yeah. long they've been waiting for me to come to this mm. middle east the fact that i'm syrian they've done their research on me it's like yeah. all these things that the, the amount of love they're putting into posts and me just thanking them like after they post the post it's like mm -hmm. it's like they send me a voice like a lot of arabs love to send voices <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't like type hey hey don't forget the random video calls too bro except, oh. except my video call by the way. <laughs> We even got, yeah, so we even got Arab <laughs> sweets from one of them. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So he was great. Yeah, yeah. He, he gave me Syrian. Syrian shout out. Yeah. They were from Syria. Like, they legit got them from Syria. Yeah, which, which is an amazing. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say, like, we met an amazing amount of people. I wanted to give a shout out to, you know, Noor, Trina, uh, yeah. Kevin, Nogi, uh, Matthew, who were beside us as well, working there. They treated us honestly like family. And we legit. helped us out so much. Thank you. And he, on a, yeah, it was just, it was really great. And, I, think I mean specifically with kevin right yeah uh, with the experience you guys got yeah so yeah. i wanted to talk about that uh, kevin hooked us up with well, i will say the code we got to meet oscar isaac and <laughs> that was just, actually kevin and amen and uh, amen uh, there yeah, you go. and the whole crew Shout uh, out to the everyone, whole genuinely. comic con crew they got us into the room mm -hmm. and we we sat down for like 10 15 minutes mm -hmm. in the green room which was dope we didn't know we had access to that which we could have like got drinks and yeah, and yeah. Food and <laughs> but we found that out later yeah so we waited for like 10 15 minutes and oscar came in and the funniest part is like i knew he knows about me but i don't i didn't know he knows me mm -hmm. so when he came in he's like yeah of course we're gonna meet apostles again he comes in he goes boss how you doing he, he even said code right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he even said code i didn't know he knows my name but it's like, it's like sounds like someone did prep time yeah, yeah. it's like <laughs> no he, he, should he, be, said, he should he should he should be <laughs> batman <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to say i look like batman like he did sure uh, <laughs> no, no. let's wait I, i'm actually intrigued to know from two perspectives how you guys both had the experience because you haven't had that sort of experience yeah, have you meeting a big time to live no i did oh, yeah Ma uh, michael in, uh, in michael, the states he met michael, michael, b. michael b jordan oh, ah yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank thankfully i'm just gonna say any <laughs> celebrities that i have met um like you know high tier whatever you want to call them i don't know what the term is have been an amazing i've had yeah. yet to have any bad experiences with the yeah. people just and i'm very lucky just casually me and daniel the presence in this conversation <laughs> yeah. there we go. i remember uh, how, how was it yeah, i remember when he met um oscar isaac and he came back he was like bro i'm an idiot i bumped into him dude i, I bumped into I, him he, 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 no, no, he didn't bump into I, him he literally kicked him i kicked him by accident i can't yeah. remember what i was doing we were, we were literally <laughs> standing there he had got his makeup and his leg spasm that's what i'm saying was that a nervous reaction i don't know what it was no it was i was trying to do something with my leg i can't remember what it was uh i don't know what it was whatever <laughs> was kicking Either way. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh no i know what it is i remember i remember i remember so we were having a conversation with oscar isaac or mainly code i was just i was there you know and he 
Uh, one thing I do want to mention about Oscar is even though I wasn't really involved in the conversation, he made me feel like I was, and he was trying to include me. That was that's mm. like I can, I didn't expect that from just anyone like that uh, of that caliber, I guess you would say. But he was he treated me great. I loved it. But I was standing there and I tried to cross my legs while I was standing to get like in a, like a I guess a comfortable position. And while I was doing that, I kicked his shin, <laughs> and he looked at him like, oh, bro, I'm so sorry. He's like, no, it's okay. But I felt like uh, so. What, so what, <laughs> what we've learned from this experience is some animals have uh, some way to assert their dominance in the wild. <laughs> Shaggy <laughs> just kicked him. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the reason for he it. He offered him, bro. He offered <laughs> him. Shaggy's gonna stop. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm that sorry. was so stupid, I'm but. Sorry. Oh. But, uh, yeah, she had to it, like sweep the leg. He, he <laughs> was. He seemed completely final for at least like to me. He didn't say anything. And uh, as Code was saying, he knew a lot about Code. He was talking to you like a genuine friend. Like he'd known you for so long, and yeah. that was that was really. He cool. knew of the artworks that I gave him. The like he's, Moonlight he's, one or the I gave Metal Gear Solid. Him both. I gave him both, and then we just started talking about Metal Gear Solid. Apparently. What has happened is like, I think they've shelved the project. Is that uh, since the cease, uh, sorry, the strike? It's not about the strike. I think they just shelved um, Metal Gear Solid. I don't know. Completely. Because I, I don't think they knew what story they were going to go with. So they, I, they don't know where they were going with it. And I think he's no longer part of the conversation. So the rumor was true though. He was in genuine talks. He was, he yeah. was, he, he was the front runner for everything uh, at that point. But after it kind of fell apart, no one knows what's happening with it anymore. But I'm hoping when they pick it up again, they still go with him because he's literally one of the perfect people for yeah. Snake. Yeah. How, how was your actual meeting with him though? Like you've met a few at this point now. He was really good. That's what we were saying. It's like, he felt like he knew me and I felt like I knew him. And we just went into a whole bunch of other topics. Um, I told him what's happening with Moon Knight, what's happening with you, are you going to see the two? Um, there was no talks about season two, but he was, he said they're talking about um midnight suns are we let us say this yeah midnight suns has already been talking about okay, so, okay. yeah so he's talking about midnight suns now if midnight suns happens that's that's a big thing there's like ghost rider there's like all the dark sort of people in the marvel the anti-heroes per se not anti-heroes but it's like there's like if you search up midnight suns you'll see what that take is but it's it's a, it's a heavy story it's got a whole bunch of deep characters and he'll be part of it and he fits that world because he's like got different personalities and and he gets to flex. so there's it sounds like they're trying to expand moon knight into other universes yeah because I, I i feel like i feel like oscar is bigger than a show i think he should, i think the character is yeah. too right i mean yeah obviously he's an ace as they come yeah. in terms of celebrity status yeah. wise but the character fits other things yeah. right and he was uh, and he was on his way out like from that con like that day like after he finishes he was going to another movie would he say um canada wouldn't have been Doom? i think so yeah he yeah, was going to film too, something right? wouldn't it no no he no, died, no, Doom like, finished by then bro no, 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 sure. no, i'm saying premieres yeah, no? yeah. oh no you don't remember what happened to him in doing one he's not there anymore <laughs> no, i never watched the first time i'm not sure but he he, he went he was it, going bro. to he went i was gonna watch it i don't want to say i fell asleep during that one literally the same same day he was going over to canada yeah um so it was really cool that he made the time to meet yeah. you so so it was, yeah. it was a really nice guy um taller than i expected i think it was taller than me yeah i, I, don't, I didn't really uh, I didn't of course really keep you track. don't know of course i'm you sorry don't i don't keep track giant. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> i don't we're keep we're track we're too tall bro we're above <laughs> average bro. it's like i know we're ants to you and yeah. you step on us and kick us <laughs> oh, man uh, can we make a design of shady doing sweep the leg to ask us <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, <Lord>, please <laughs> I suffered that. It wasn't that glory. big, bro. It was, just, it was like a little just, touch. Just a warning, guys. Every time I go out or travel around and I have him as an assistant or a video guy, just watch out for your legs. <laughs> <laughs> I will be careful, uh, man. Uh, what did we do after that? What was I was gonna, oh, okay, so no, I was going to say... Oh, the panel would have been after yeah. The panel. Okay, well, before the panel, the panel, I wanted yeah. to bring up Daniel and I and code what we did. Is that same night, if I'm not mistaken, of the having the kids draw the drawings... We were looking for some place to eat and oh, yeah, we went upstairs of a, to a loft. Uh, I think it's called Brick, yeah, the restaurant. Yeah, it was called Brick. Absolutely yeah. amazing place. I had a team of performers who um, had gotten together not knowing each other and just freestyled and made it work and yeah. played random songs. And it was such an amazing experience. So much so that Code wanted to go every single night. Yeah, basically. Um, <laughs> we went broke. <laughs> we went broke. I mean, it was you who went broke, unfortunately. I went broke. The, the thing is, it's like we were there for such a limited amount of time and we wanted to keep trying food and um yeah. we kept over ordering so much and luckily we we're able to do that i ate everything 
everything and they made sure I ate everything and it was bad but it was a good night it was, th- a, th- it was a phenomenal night. night and we made sure to take Saul there when he finally yeah. came when he finally came did we go on that same that night same we went night. to Shawarma yeah, no so we went to Shawarma that night yeah, no, well, no, not that night the day after the first okay first so night, same yeah. night went to Brick but yeah. it was different it's yeah after mm. after they took an hour to come downstairs and pick me up out of the thing after <laughs> yeah. I arrived from the airport yeah. um, they we went to uh, as they were saying Brick and they have a great menu yeah. <clears throat> honestly the seating because you're it's it's an open space so you can see the whole city yeah, it's a rooftop and and yeah rooftop yeah and it was a great experience. Like, it's like, oh, wow, this is Dubai sort of experience, right? What was that, Abu Dhabi? Abu Dhabi. No, Abu Dhabi. I got to get yeah. there eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a real Abu it's Dhabi, like, yeah. whoa, in your face experience. And then the bill came and I was like, yeah, this is never happening again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it happened another four times. <laughs> another four times. No, yeah. no, with me, didn't it? <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that restaurant was well, was great. And uh, Genuinely, that, I wish you were there for just that actual first night. That was mm-hmm. like the actual people yeah, performing and the meeting yeah. the people there I want, it was, was I wanted it to give him a shout out I don't remember it was, was it a, a weekend, weekend? Yeah, yeah yeah okay that makes more so sense so I, I can't yeah. remember his name I wanted yeah. to shout him out uh, we have his socials we can just yeah, we'll, shout him out but he was it was like it was just good and we were, we were tired from the con the first day I think it was the first day right the was it not the first night, day yeah. of the first night of the con it was the first night we were tired we then we just went up go upstairs we stayed late drank yeah exactly Yeah, it was a really good night um are you gonna look for thing or do we divert? I think this is him. I'm not so Marvin. Yeah, that was yeah, Marvin. Okay. He was Marvin. Yeah, so I wanted yeah. to give it. To a, I found these socials. His name. I wanted to give a shout out to Marvin. He was him, his, his brother, brother and yeah. his father were all when we were when we were at the rooftop were yeah. performing together. Yeah, it was cute. And when we came on at a later day, uh, another day, his brother was there performing, and they amazing people, amazing energy, phenomenal voices, and really good with their instruments as well. Yeah. Set the whole mood for everyone made it a great time Shout out to them. Was, um was but yeah so, so was that was soul's first was, night that wasn't my first night no huh I know no as in answer. we talked about oh, okay. yeah, yeah, you're yeah. going going to brick uh, yeah, yeah. yeah so uh just expensive the is the only issue what was there? the next uh would have been the thing right the con, con. so we're going to the con. how was you how was your experience at the con we haven't even yeah, asked you, you had and three, daniel we never really get into your experiences so i think for me i've just become numb to cons in general like because i was with him um almost all of the Australian ones when he did them initially when he was coming up the scene and whatnot but I think for this one the biggest as I said before the biggest thing that took me away was these kids had a genuine passion for anime Mm -hmm. and that's like you saw from the cosplayers when we walked around the con I walked around with Daniel and it's like they're the it's not just the art they have they do they focus a lot on sort of sentimental sort of gifts so like you know cups and stuff like that stuff yeah. you can actually take back home and there's like pottery i guess pottery is not surprising because that's big mm-hmm. in the middle east especially yeah. in that region but the way they made them into themed ones and the actual the effort into the craft that li- those little things caught my eye a lot but overall the con was it was well run like it mm-hmm. didn't feel unorganized from when it didn't i didn't feel cr- yeah. that yeah too also, crowded they, there was like you could walk they surprised still, me like with was... their cosplay game as well they're, they're pretty good at cosplay yeah. yeah oh man i can't forget i don't think any of us recorded it but there was on the initial when you walk in there was a team there i can't remember what brand or what company they were representing but they were absolutely hyped the ones that were dancing and singing. oh yeah you oh, you're talking about the guards yeah, you're talking about the security guards yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. bro they were off the chain yeah, yeah, so yeah. i wanted to jump in yeah, like yeah. genuinely yeah. <laughs> they were hoping yeah, it's like even the security made you feel welcome yeah, like yeah, that yeah. the security was so good it's like I, I went up to him he goes i know you and it's like it's like going and he goes they're your boys they're into i'm like hell yeah the original none of them not not none of them at all just the ones around and code has got enough security guards fired the original first day you guys none of you guys even saw the ribbon no, they're not gonna get what are you talking oh yeah about? we missed out on that yeah, the yeah. ribbon cutting thing was actually so sick they had like i was at day one yeah they mm. didn't see it though i was the only one that got to see it because i was trying to organize some things before it started and they, they just had all these they had a proper red cup and all these cosplayers lined up like star wars and anime and everything it was sick and you, it was just like I wish I didn't even get to record it but I was, was just say, like it's so cool no 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 I didn't record it mm, I was in a rush bro I was, I was in, in a moment, rush yeah, I yeah. legit was in a rush that day it was a really I was just literally moment. just w- was looking at it and I was admiring it and you had these um, sheikhs I'd say I think they were they were like 
like big boys dressed up like Ro- royal and big yeah. boys no I they were ro- like, no genuinely they were all just <laughs> yeah, like I know, very I tall about the royalty <laughs> royalty royal families and ceos yeah, and i don't know if they're just there, naturally yeah. tall but they yeah. were like towering over me yeah. all of them bro like, he, he, the he saw the security guards the ones that were higher up yeah bro guards, the not secu- the gate security guards the higher up yeah, ones. yeah they were all looked like roman reigns and yeah they were all towered over this guy they made him scared yeah they were they were not surprised like compared to here you get like these guys the security in melbourne the Melbourne clubs, bro. I'm like, what are you, what are you gonna defend for? Like, but like those guys were genuine security. Like, like they yeah. s- they look at you and it's like you just death stare. It's like yeah. I don't want to mess with you. But, <laughs> but I, f- I think uh, <clears throat> diverting into the next was that day three when he had the. the I was gonna say, so day three started off like the con, like every other day. But Code had a panel that day, which was, <laughs> uh, what, yeah. you want to describe that, what the panel was about? Uh, it was the whole creators and I think- Influencers, cr- right? Inf- yeah. Influencer panel, yeah. which got cancelled, then uncancelled like four times. Yeah, yeah, was, uh, yeah. yeah. So it was, it was like, meant to be outside originally and it was, for, we're rain. lucky at us, we, went, we happened to be in Abu Dhabi when, when the, a storm came and yeah. they never experienced rain and storm, <laughs> but we happened to be there. Yeah, we'll talk that. about that in a sec. We'll have a couple oh, of yeah. <laughs> So basically, they cancelled it uh, from the outside and they cancelled it all, but then they re-established it inside in the main hall. Mm -hmm. And with me, as you all know, I have anxiety from crowds and public speaking. Mm -hmm. So So I was kind of relieved, unrelieved, relieved, unrelieved. So as soon as they said I'm back on, I'm like, you know what, I'll just do it. And then we went all the way to the main place Mm -hmm. and... As soon as we got there, it's like we, we stood around and I met the people that were on the stand with me. Mm. And we very went. good people we as well, yeah. It was cool. It was like yeah. it was my actual I think it was like I did that panel in America that was um for the what was it for? Oh, oh I know what you're talking uh, about. At, at, at light, 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 light box. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a cool panel, but that was more of a professional mm-hmm. um serious panel. Yeah. Um, this one was more fun. I got to talk with my Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, so, yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah. fun, wasn't yeah. it? So, no, nah, genuinely yeah. like one of the best panels I've actually yeah, ever because, watched. Yeah, I think it's because it everyone... genuinely entertaining. Yeah. Everyone was uh, like... It, was it wasn't cr- necessarily scripted it was in the scripted sense like... And it was like about... It started it off was robotic, about, it was about, let's say. The reason it was kind of like unhinged was because it was about socials and how yeah. everyone uses socials and yeah. everyone uses it differently. We talked about the bullying. We talked about all that sort of stuff. And then we talked about some important stuff. But I liked hearing everyone's legitimate answer because like, they were all different broad people. Yeah, yeah. And then there was that conversation with that, I forgot his name, but it's like, I thought he was joking about oh, AI. AI. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I yeah. thought he was joking. Like That's when he got interested. Things got heated. Yeah. I'll he, say he that. Was, he was promoting it as in like, how good it we is. need to start using it. I get it. People use it. That's fine. Like use it. But to say that, to tell everyone in the crowd and tell people it's like you're being you're you're left behind if you're not using it yeah pretty much and it's like i'm an artist that's on the stage and i know you know there was another artist on the stage as well it's like and there was heaps of artists in the crowd and you're telling them that it's like you know use it or like lose yeah it, you're like, lose you're what gonna you stay behind yeah. you're not gonna yeah, catch up yeah. to anyone you'll never and it's like it's basically like what he was saying yeah. i don't know if he was like articulating it right mm-hmm. or anything but i i just found everything he was saying wrong yeah. i wasn't mad or anything it's just <laughs> yeah, everything right. he was saying was just like <laughs> it's what you don't stand, it's just, it's like, just it's odd noise. what you yeah, stand yeah. for basically yeah, yeah you took his like, name for okay, up. i mean like do you do you if you're gonna do ai do it so yeah. okay just don't go with anyone else tell mention people you're using it that's fine that's all but telling people they're wrong for not using it is just a yeah. weird take. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I did want to say what we found funny and it, it got really entertaining. I was laughing. Was is well the panel because it was kind of um, everyone go off the flow, say what you want to say about a certain topic. When Co- Code and the other person, Muhammad I don't know, Amir. Muhammad oh. Amir. Yeah. Yeah. So, so they <laughs> they were going back and forth about AI, and when when Code said basically that he doesn't agree with him and the ai shouldn't be like it's not the move to yeah. just drop everything and go to it yeah. and he was telling like he was just telling the guy like how can you sort of support being an artist how can you do ai because this doesn't really credit yeah uh no, no, the I, was, art, I, was, was ta- I was telling him that if, if you use ai and prompts and all that mm-hmm. sort of stuff you you use it do you yeah but tell people you're using it it's yeah. like it's fine yeah but telling artists that it's like 
You're going to get you, left you, in the you're bus. Get he left was basically in the dust saying if that, you yes. don't use yeah. AI. You're not going to get anywhere. And, and it's like you should start using AI over yeah. your works and basically that mm -hmm. that kind of like demotivates. It, it, <laughs> it, it sounded <laughs> like he was trolling. It yeah. was passion. Because why would you bring that I don't up? Think, I don't think it was trolling. It wasn't I think, trolling. I think it's legitimate point. Yeah, yeah because for him it's worked. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. to go at everyone else for it's like, not about oh, going you're I think no, he was making a suggestion. Was, no, no, he was making wait, a suggestion. I think not just that. Oh. Right? I think you guys are missing what was happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the crowd started getting into it. So yeah. once that happened, it was a narrative, right? Yeah, the crowd was cheering for Code. Yeah, the <laughs> crowd, and he played into the heel role. Yeah. yeah, he was the villain, and yeah. he, he thrived. In he that. thrived. Kept going. He was, kept going. I'm telling and honestly, you. honestly, <laughs> I respect him for it because panels have a way of getting really stale and really boring if you're not thing right and they genuinely added something to it yeah it was a genuine real it wasn't a robotic response which yeah. is what most mm -hmm. answers are right yeah plug and play answers these two actually had a real debate yeah. and it was fun that's why right? we went to the crowd saying, yeah. i'm telling you i don't know if we could get uh, do you have the footage of the i have crowd some yet? of the footage the crowd was genuinely uh, yeah, like the crowd was yeah. genuinely Excited. into it and like yeah. code was so i've never seen code so passionate about a yeah. subject in my life <laughs> to the point that me and daniel looked at each other every well, time because <laughs> they, they were trying to change the subject a few yeah. times and code saw, nah, man, code. Man, code. Hey, every <laughs> single i legitimately wanted to yell at the guy right it's like every time he spoke i wanted to be like nah <laughs> you were making so many <laughs> passive nah, aggressive comments going. because okay let me say when when the crowd started cheering the first time he felt like a king bro he felt you like could a see king. it in code's eyes that he felt like he was I'm, I'm onto on something top here. of the world i'm onto something here <laughs> yeah. and, no, no. and every, yes, it was, every so, chance he had to just make so a, you know i can't win this i can't win this conversation <laughs> without the crowd <laughs> i needed the crowd to destroy him yeah that's what i need but it was funny because but you're like fishing for more i swear to god any chance they, they tried to change the subject because they're like okay this is getting a bit out of hand let's change it every AI, single time AI. they tried to change the comment code made a passive aggressive comment like they'll be talking about something he's, he'll be like yeah but i don't use ai or we don't use this it kept trying to change it and it was the best it was so funny like i, I hope they posted it i'm not sure if they did if not if not um i do have the footage i will put it up the thing is, I want to I put it up on screen, yeah, I but the thing as well, so I will yeah. put it up on screen, but I don't know if I can put the audio. Genuinely a good panel to. though. Like, um, in all honesty, it was that's what I was about to say. But that so panel helped me out a lot yeah. because that panel, it like, I didn't see the crowd anymore. I didn't see anything anymore. I just saw yeah, you the fight forgot I forgot you were there though. That you genuinely yeah. forgot yeah. you were even yeah. on a panel yeah. to be honest. I think, yeah. and I think that helps, right? Like yeah. if you do, as you've spoken about openly before, you've spoken about your suffering from a social anxiety. We've experienced it with you, right? And that was good to see. There was two. That's what I was saying. There's two things that stood out uh, stood out for me during that experience. And one was a shout out to the actual panel, which was going for the names now. Was Muhammad Amir, uh, Assad Morningstar, Paris A. Dot A. E. Uh, Venomology. How do you remember all of that? Um, He's got a rid of uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, moderation by Nasser. It was good, right? Like the, the what I liked about it is, especially with everyone there tried to make you feel like, i don't know it wasn't intentional right but even from the first introduction of your name like the crowd was into it yeah, like, yeah they yeah. knew you they knew right? you yeah, and definitely. honestly that made me feel like as your brother i knew that would put you at ease a bit yeah. like it's a crowd there for you right and not just that the the panel was good in that sense as well like i saw morning star yeah he was, he was really good like he was charismatic mm -hmm. yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. like he talked to you he interacted with him he, he was basically the moderator as well yeah and honestly seeing you blossom in that environment like grow into it because you like i'm not gonna say you were nervous at the start it wasn't obvious but you definitely grew into it especially mm -hmm. when the ai topic came up yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean actually oh now that i think about it we had the um the osmo recording the whole thing that's what as I was well. oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. was the crowd yeah. that was the crowd reaction yeah, yeah that, was, that was good <laughs> but genuinely uh, like I a very entertaining i literally had to like yeah. if i let that conversation go i would look bad no it doesn't like, like, the, we're not like, uh, we don't no, get, no, not like it was you, just good not, it was funny not, it was not to you guys yeah 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 because yeah. coming off the light box yeah conversation mm -hmm. and our talks mm. and where i am in the world in that field what he was saying just counteracts whatever I do. Yeah. yeah. So I needed to speak up of course, at that yeah. point. It was yeah. good, it was good that, that you did because yeah. it was inter it was more entertaining. Yeah. 
Genuinely. Yeah. I, I mean, I it was mean, a change in how they... Obviously, they wanted the panel to go one way. They did not expect it to go like that, but the people enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. yeah. It got that the crowd into it. That's yeah, okay, genuinely, right? yeah. The crowd was loud, I think, man. I, think <laughs> the, I felt like I was at a footy game or something. Yeah. I think the, hi- the highlight for me was in the crowd I'm, I don't I don't think Coach saw us because his eyesight's not that great but while the whole AI topic was happening I kept looking at Daniel because Daniel was like I could see Daniel was loading up a joke at some point and then just when I finished <laughs> he, he uttered the exact words bro went from nervous to fluent in yapping <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you went proper yapping bro yeah. honestly <laughs> since after I finished that con uh, no that con that panel oh, yeah. <clears throat> I wanted to like I would have loved to know what a full crowd would have looked like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it been, oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, I, I went you, in during if when you they just were, came back in the next time. Oh, my <laughs> yeah. God. I went oh, in yeah, the had One the Piece cast one, of, yeah. for One Piece. Yeah. Oh. Bro, it was insane. I, I could, the amount of heads, like people being there was just, yeah. Yeah. well. But regardless, you had a, you had a pretty good crowd. Yeah. And, and once again, the crowd was genuinely they were good. Yeah, really was. into it. And a lot of them came up to you after as well and talked to you, had conversations with you, which you were more than happy to do. And I think. I think that's really awesome in the sense that it shows once again that the people from in the Middle East and at these convention, the M- MEFCC, just were unlike anything I've ever experienced with the other conventions yet. Mm. And uh, I really look forward to hopefully having the chance to go back there because it was it was it really was. cool. I know I haven't done many panels, but shout out to everyone that was on the panel with me. Mm-hmm. They made Genuinely they made it people. like they a good cool, space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Everyone. And and just to clarify for anyone listening, the person uh, Muhammad was it uh, Muhammad Amir, yeah. Muhammad Amir, yeah. that he wasn't. No, they were going back and forth with AI. It was nah, they It sh- was literally right after the panel. There were handshakes having yeah, yeah, a chat. Yeah, it was it just was a conversation. Like, it was good. Yeah, it, it was, was just a, a debate. It was a good debate. It yeah, was it was a, well, a really well yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was yeah. no like uh, bad blood or anything. Yeah. Like that's that. exactly what we need. It was good, I think. Yeah. And that's what a lot of people look for. And shout out to the guy asking questions as well. I remember he was really nervous. Yeah, Nasser. Yeah, shout out to him. It was his first panel. He was nervous so I uh, feel like that was a good panel for him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, I think that basically wraps up the the majority of what we did at the convention, apart from meeting your fans yeah. and stuff. Yeah, was there anything much. else? No, we packed up after that. We said mm-hmm. bye to everyone. Everyone was dope. We were gonna do some walking around, but it's like we were super tired. I think yeah. we, I did. Mean, we did. We so, went to the shopping okay, center, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So Daniel yeah, and I actually went back. I don't know if we told you guys. We went back to the convention. No, they knew for the concert. Oh, we yeah, went to yeah. go so for t- the t- t- uh, Trina. Trina. Trina Trina was meant to have a concert because yeah. uh, uh, like she's also a DJ yeah. um, she was meant to perform at the convention but because of the weather it got cancelled unfortunately yeah. uh, we went back to the um, what's it called we went back to the convent the con no we didn't we went to that was the night no. we went to the supermarket wasn't it yeah, but no. we, that was after that was after, oh, we went after. after. so that so same night yeah Daniel thing, and yeah. I went to the con wait was that we went to the market and then after that we went no, to no, the no, con we went again? to the con went to the market okay yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. so when we went to the con uh, once again it's like seeing the behind the scenes all yeah. the crowd was gone it was just the people working there uh, who had their panels and had their um like are they called just panels in general what are yeah. they called the little artist <laughs> alley booths yeah. sorry yeah. yeah so everyone who had their booths and just going around once again you just see different artists were going to other artists buying whatever they they could yeah, just before and just supporting each other and even if they couldn't you know uh buy anything it was just interacting and it was really cool to see that like daniel and i went and got some gifts for a few people and yeah. you, you you showed me some places that you had gone to we had a conversation with some yeah, of the guys some went- people that were from here that went down to we met a guy me and you didn't meet him properly we met him me and soul he had a, a pokemon uh ah uh, yeah he was australian like, as yeah, well. yeah he was he was in melbourne he was melbourne I'm, melbourne him, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was melbourne i think it was sydney no nah, because he talked about going to pax but i was just assumed he was from melbourne because he, he i don't know anyway yeah, yeah. On, he made but some really yeah cool he has too. some really cool stuff actually decently priced too so it was just like we basically felt like there was someone from home here as well so it was it's like, like a lot yeah. of i saw a lot of australians warwick, yeah. warwick wong was there one, yeah. of my, one of my friends and he was he came to the booth apparently yes. melvin was there too yeah melvin was there i don't yeah. think he was he never he was, posted he on was. his socials then you made 100 why he was. wouldn't he post on his socials oh, saw him, we saw him, we saw his post we saw his 100 percent. because he didn't post on his why would what he if he post? what if he just didn't see the post no nah, i went on his stories and his posts ah. no, oh, he I'm pretty sure he was there maybe hey, i've got to see his designs if it is melvin i'm pretty sure it was i want to say give him a shout out because he came to the booth yeah shout out to melvin as well yeah shout out to everyone and that was from australia because it was kind of weird seeing some yeah. so yeah. many australians there i think yeah so to wrap it up i think you went back to the hotel room that night mm. um we you guys went out and then we came back 
And then we were trying, I think we saw, we needed stuff for the trip to Dubai, which we were planning to do the next day. Like so food, we went, snacks. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. So we went Supplies. to the, we went to something called the hypermarket. <laughs> what was it called? Carousel? Carousel. I can't remember. It sounded something like that, but it was a hypermarket. Yeah, and it was, it was a nearby market. Market. And we yeah. didn't like, you hear that sort of name and you think, well, what is it? And basically it felt Costco-ish, Costco yeah. but probably bigger. I mean, yeah. it had three mm. levels, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's like Street Fighter, st- yeah. Super Street Fighter, and there's Hyper Street Fighter. Style. Yeah, pretty <laughs> yeah. Like, honestly, <laughs> Bro, it's, that it's, store it's was surreal, massive, right? It had like, there's just a section for the normal products, right? The snacks, the convenience, whatever. And that was huge. But then the next level was like, like furniture, uh, furniture and, stuff, and whatnot. Yeah. And then the third level was electronics. And I'm like, this thing is massive. Yeah. And reasonably priced too, which I think that was the whole point of it, Costco ish in a sense. Yeah. Where we bought a whole bunch of stuff, we walked around Abu Dhabi for a bit, and it was really nice. I think we ended Good up walk. eating at the Grill House. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We I, I, I kind of want to mention it because it was funny. We found the tr- uh, a trolley or yeah. a shopping cart on the way to the hypermarket, and I jumped in it, and we were having. He was right driving yeah. like. Riding me around in yeah, it like crazy. Shady, I was Shady, scared. Shady was the passenger. I, I, I was the passenger. <laughs> was like, I, come, I kept going close to the coop. Stop, 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 stop. Code's nodding like, yes, yes. I saw it. Code wasn't with us. We have, we have video tired. footage that. No, yeah, yeah. We can show that footage. You can show all that. I was laughing because you said riding me. But yeah, yeah. yeah I, didn't, I knew. Yeah, I, knew, yeah, I, knew I had it. a feeling. That's I didn't know how I was doing it. I had a feeling. Riding me around. I had a feeling. That was great. And yeah, like you said, we went to Grill. Which was mixed with cheese shawarma. I think, yeah, you guys experienced the cheese shawarma. So it's, it's, strange it's essentially two restaurants in one yeah in the same building yeah, right? yes, yes. yeah. so they have the cheesy shawarma is the, one of the names you went which, there for the grill no, i wasn't there. i was there for the grill yeah. not the cheesy shawarma yeah but <clears throat> i'll see i saw their menu for the cheesy shawarma and it basically is what yeah. the name suggests yes yeah, but we tried grill house and honestly the environment the whole seating the whole theme it was, it was nice, amazing yeah. it was very very laid back they had the massive tv screen that was playing the epl it was like a the projector, projector. yeah, projector. yeah, projector. yeah, 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 yeah. Projector. that was a clear projector yeah um, yeah, it was had the EPL. We literally, background. were watching one of the um, Asia, is Jordan Asia, versus Asia Jordan. Cup. Ah, you were watching was it Jordan versus Korea? Yeah, Jordan 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 yeah, versus Qatar. Qatar. yeah I think Qatar. so. Oh, yeah, who was no, it wasn't. It was Jordan and Korea. Maybe. Korea, was it Korea, yeah, Korea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it was just like a lot of people there, like jigging up. It was cool. It was like cool. honestly, and so it had a really good environment, and good feel to it. But yeah. like, I can't stress enough how high tier the food was, and it yeah. wasn't. It was good. It wasn't it was stupidly priced. No. Like it was Gr- grill is more a lot more expensive than I would say the cheese shawarma, but not a stupid amount, amount unless yeah. you're going for like wagyu sort of. I, I'm pretty sure I don't know if they have like a wagyu beef option. They had, or something. They yeah. had, they had you got a yeah. you got a wagyu burger, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That wasn't my favorite thing on the menu, but honestly, the the what the vine leaves was pretty. No, amazing. there was that thing with the cheese yeah. in it. What was that? That was the kefta. Yeah, kefta, kefta was that, was that was amazing. Yeah, yeah. That so, was they just yeah they had extremely. Good. I mean, we saw their rating right. That's yeah, why we went there. It was four point nine out of like three hundred ratings on Google. But it lived up to every expectation. Honestly, it probably was the best restaurant in both Abu Dhabi and Dubai that we went to, I would have said. Yeah. Nah, I think the one next to the... Well, I had the steak. I think that was the best one. The in steak. my opinion. Oh, steak, hurricanes. Steak. Yeah, hurricanes. Yeah, that, hurricanes was good too. Why do I not yeah. remember this? The remember. one next to where the yeah, Ferris wheel was, bro. What yeah, do you mean? The pasta and the big deep dish. Oh, yeah, hurricanes okay, was definitely... Okay, I think yeah, that yeah. was like the probably... Guys, like, yes, to all these experiences. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I mean, if you're in Abu Dhabi, we would recommend going to the Brick if you like willing to spend a bit of money it's a bar <laughs> I think the brick is more so for the experience yeah that's what I'm saying just the, the view yeah, yeah. that's the view bro. Food wise, have a drink food wise mm-hmm. cheese shawarma and grill were phenomenal yeah. so big recommendation there uh, so some because of the weather we yeah. had uh, actually uh, well thanks to the team that had helped us originally they got us in contact with Visit Abu Dhabi once yeah. again yeah. who had originally uh, planned out a schedule for us to go to the presidential palace the grand yeah. mosque uh the yeah. desert safari and warner brothers, and warner brothers. uh and f- well <laughs> so i think it was the day after we left yeah. correct yeah. Uh, abu dhabi we were meant to do those and it was a uh, show to say the least uh because the fact that abu dhabi or dubai i don't know if just that region they don't experience rain not to that level not anyway. to the That's, level that we that were was, there that was basically torrential rain and storms yeah it's like area. another day here for literally us, for nobody nah, knew it was pretty bad weather when What's you were there yeah. Be, yeah because it's desert area and like all sand and everything just people when it rains there, they're not used to it just do not know how to function they don't know how to uh, drive they don't know how to drive they don't know how to yeah. make their way around the water and everything yeah so, <laughs> so our driver turned into groundhog day he would loop the same road yeah we we saw the same signs and saw the same you know 
monuments <laughs> on the side of the road like 14 times. Four yeah. hours. It's like we're four in that hours. Car. Genuinely. Like, I'm pretty sure we passed this mansion. <laughs> we, were, we were on okay. the way to Warner Brothers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Warner Brothers first that uh, we were going to do. Um, I think we're, yeah, yeah, we're sure. doing Warner so. Brothers. Yeah. We were, the, the exits that he needed to take our driver were blocked off by water. And he was Some of it was fairly deep, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. And he was trying to... Does this to camera zoom in at all? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, should I put out this camera? She pointed out that camera, yeah. This is the drive. So from here to here, it's 40 kilometers. And it ended up I'll, being... I'll, I'll just just screenshot it, screenshot it and I'll put it up on screen. <laughs> Ended up being. Yeah, yeah, we were, see, we were genuinely screen, stuck in. Well, yeah, I can give the stats. Right? So, so we yeah. left at five. Oh, this is probably Australian time, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it was ten thirty a.m. We mm-hmm. left. Yeah, uh, something like that. We left yeah. away. Ten fifteen. The distance I think. we total covered was one hundred and twenty-five kilometers, but where we actually went to, we never actually exited the way. Yeah. So we <laughs> drove for three hours and thirty-four minutes in a loop. In a, in a genuine, loop. Yeah. like yeah, it, was, it, was, <laughs> it was, it was, it was Groundhog yeah. Day. And it was, the, it was, it was Groundhog Day. The movie. It's like we, I saw, kept seeing the same mountain. I'm like, I'm going crazy. Yeah, yeah. Or that's doing? the same mountain. <laughs> the thing was, the funny thing is, okay, our driver, um, he didn't speak English nor Arabic. He actually spoke Urdu, which we none of us are fluent in or know of at all. Um, so we couldn't really communicate. I tried using like a translator app. It yeah, didn't that work. Was, that was back for um, it, Good yeah. effort though. But it yeah. I tried to. It didn't work. But man, it's like, oh, we were trying to drive. He tried taking an exit. He's like, he was trying to explain that we couldn't take this exit because of the water. The thing is, he could have driven over the water, but it was a company car. And it, it's risky because if he breaks down, obviously it's going to, he can't have that. It's going to yeah. come back and bite yeah. his ass. And we don't uh, know how the working environment is for those. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah. so, so it's understandable. But the thing is, he, instead of just taking us back to the hotel or having someone explain to us that he can't get through like code and soul was saying is we were in a loop literally the same circle Legit. every time every time we come back around oh he's going to try something different he'd go the same route do the same thing the all same I thing remember, all i remember on the map is the four roundabouts like this it was like, it was like it was four like, roundabouts it, like, it looked like a drone bro. it was literally it the theory of insanity it's like the same thing it was happening over and over again with no explanation such a long day too. like no apologies no nothing just like doing well, it the same nah, thing I, I look i can't no no i, I don't can't put the it on guy. the car yeah the thing is because you got to imagine that puddle on the road was a genuine puddle like, yeah. was he waiting it, was he it was, waiting for it to dry i don't know i don't think so it was it was it was it was so deep that there was literally a car that was like tilted. Yeah. he actually yeah. got to the point where he was considering it and then he's like and nah. look honestly, <laughs> yeah. honestly dubai is so wild that a dude was going over that puddle for corvette so look i don't yeah. know credit to him but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> look well i think look the, the, the best decision we made is telling them to go <laughs> yeah well because you had to right it was literally going to keep going in a loop but i think the where we started to lose our mind a bit was shady pointed out this one building that stood out (laughs) and that was the first time we crossed it and then by the fifth time we saw it again i was like shady i hate you for (laughs) (laughs) mentioning this i've never experienced something like that to genuinely be in a loop like it was the wildest it was it was really funny because for me for for me i don't know why i i I was just in a good mood i think i was just excited i was trying to be cheery that's all right guys we're gonna work it out it's okay we're gonna make it these guys slowly it was first i think code and then Daniel or, or then Sol. Me first. Bro, it was passed out for most first. of it. No, I just, no, I, during you the were loop, sleeping no, no, a lot. Not the loop. I descended into madness. I think third. Did he not fourth. sleep? Yeah. The, did he not sleep during that loop? No, no yes, I was, I was awake. No, I was trying no, to cheer no, us up no. the whole time. You guys you, were telling you, me off. Yeah, there were times he did pass out. Now I'll be on, I'll be on, I'll be honest with you that he was snapping towards the end. So don't paint yourself an all good light. No, I was at the at the end, but it wasn't a laughing matter. I wasn't genuinely angry. Like the whole time, these guys were trying to break me. They were trying to be like, stop being so positive. It's not working out. I mean, I was trying my best to keep up but then by the yeah, end of it i was just like, well, we ended up I, I was going back. so burnt out that i wanted to cancel this whole thing yeah we ended up like, doing i didn't, want to, day, I didn't I even want to do it the next yeah. day yeah it's like because uh, i thought it was going to be the same thing yeah. Yeah. Quick, quick shout out to valentina i was just going to say so responsive during yeah. the whole thing yeah, no, yeah. Really she she, she helped us out she was more, and responsive. more than happy to postpone the the whole uh ordeal to the next day as well and organize something different originally we were supposed to do two days one was presidential palace and then the grand mosque and then the other was warner bros and uh the desert safari the plans got changed around to because of this whole situation to we did the the mosque uh the desert safari and warner Warner bros in the same day day. Uh, not in that order but yeah yeah. yeah. so yeah so the next day we got to the next day we went to the mosque which was a beautiful place amazing before (laughs) amazing i was i was gonna say before that the day before we went on to the I forgot Dubai. Dubai. I don't know what the shopping the center was. Oh, more. Oh, yeah, you guys oh, went there. The was that, no, the frame oh, was that. the day before as well. Okay, we were talking about it on the same day. Doesn't matter. We're talking about the same day. I'm not sure, okay, but we did so Dubai we, more. 
Uh, so the buy mall was yeah. insane. I think it took us two oh, days. Two, two full days. The yeah. gym. We have we have we have to explain oh, that. That was that the gym one? as well. Yeah, that was before we went to the mall. Okay, so <laughs> we had a little. Okay, the reason we ended up, I think we were going to the mall anyway, but we had a training session where I, was, I stupidly, or I'll admit, I stupidly put my glasses where. Um, Shady was doing his incline benching. Yeah, and, and, and then, mind you, I just wanted to say I was benching uh, dumbbells. I don't, I don't normally do any sort of heavy weights. Yeah. Uh, but then he was like encouraging me to try a different weight, try heavier. Yeah. Um, I was like Daniel, I don't, I don't really want to try it. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I think I might struggle, whatever. And he's like, give it a try, see how you go. And I'm like, I don't know. And he's like, no, give it a try. He did I'm do like, it, by the way. And I did it. Yapping but, and complaining. But, but anyway. I tried it anyways. And then, yeah, as you were saying. And then while he's doing it, he's like, oh, I'm done. Drops the weights, bang, shatters my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> done. Nice. on camera. I'm pretty sure yeah, we had it recorded. Have, uh, we'll so. put a we'll put a up for the video. But I'm trying to, yeah, I'm absolutely been, destroyed my glasses. I had no spares. The only spares I had were uh, uh, sunglasses that had the same lenses. That's the only ones I could wear. And I will never forget how lucky Daniel got. So yeah. we ended up going to. I found the Dubai osteopath. Yeah, yeah, I found the osteopath on Google on. Um, google maps yeah. in dubai mall mm. which was our first experience of the war i think yeah uh, uh, yeah, it, yeah, was. yeah, yeah it, it was yeah yeah so i got uh, scammed lollies as yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we got lucky because uh we found a worker that was just very good extremely hospita uh, hospitable to us yeah he took his glasses literally spent 45 to an hour i think yeah, working on like him that, yeah. they came out how you're looking at now so yeah, basically brand new, brand new much, yeah. and he didn't want to take any money like yeah. any money we offered money we, offered money. we ended up buying some random uh, eye spray yes yeah, so spray cleaners, yeah, glasses, cleaners, glasses yeah. cleaner yeah just to give some money, even though that money yeah. goes to the company, not yeah, him. I so don't know. Kind of, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Anyway, I was just... <laughs> but I felt honest, bad. Honestly, yeah. like, in the same night of Daniel being, I'm never going to see you again in my life and yeah. not going to get to see the way, yeah. he got saved by yeah, that guy. So shout God. out. Shout out to that. Yeah, too. big shout out I to I can't him. remember his name, but he yeah. was amazing. Yeah. He was a very good <laughs> Thank yeah. you. But, uh, like, genuinely, we... That was, like, the first exploration we did for Dubai Mall, and then we ended up going the next day again, where we actually did a proper run of it and like just doing the first level i think took us about an hour and a half ish yeah, yeah. an hour hour and a half if you're actually looking at the stores properly properly like yeah, we were yeah. looking no we were just yeah we were, we were walking we were, past them. we were scanning more yeah, so scanning than yeah, if yeah. you were actually going into each or at least three quarters of the stores yeah it would take you a few days yeah 100%. genuinely yeah. genuinely uh, we, we, we were there we spent most of the day at the mall if i'm not mistaken and we didn't even finish all of it and while scanning we didn't do the whole bottom floor i think one of the yeah, floors we, we didn't even do the we didn't get to the china market yeah, the yeah. China, yeah. Chinatown market. but yeah. There, there's some they got like an ice skating ring yeah uh big arcade massive player of, like, massive player for children dude, like yeah. it's just they've got absolutely every base covered for families for partners for whatever you need there's an aquarium yeah. in there yeah, yeah we dude. can't forget the aquarium to the zoo as well yeah. the underwater zoo yeah it's just wild all this in a mall and like, you you <laughs> met up with your um Cousin, uh, cousin, yeah, cousin Ali, from Ali. I got Shout to try out, out Dave's hot chicken. And we for have the Dave's first hot chicken as well. These guys have been hyped. They can up post so that. Long. You can post that picture of me. Like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not gonna. Did you try Dave's hot chicken? In no, I didn't get. We never got to. He I'm did. Not, uh, yeah, I did. It was definitely better in America, but it was good. It yeah, was good. it was good. I liked it. But yeah. you said it wasn't that big of a difference. No, was it a massive? The, just the tenderness of the chicken okay. was probably the only difference. Well, it was pretty. We had a. It was pretty good. I feel like. It'd be better, obviously, the spicier it is, but I can't do spice because they had a massive spice level. Yeah, yeah. People were properly wearing gloves having the chicken. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, this is probably embarrassing I for I think me the either. usual touristy stuff that you see on socials, right? Like the the water uh, waterfall with the yeah. mm -hmm. divers and stuff. Yeah. All that, that was stuff. sick. The waterfall was so cool. Like you see them online, right? You're like, oh, they're probably tourist traps. But seeing them in person is genuinely unique, yeah. right? There's not many malls around the world that have that exactly, so it yeah. was it was genuinely really good to, i mean i mean i know people will be like oh who goes to a tourist location and goes to a mall it's worth it it's yeah, genuinely yeah. genuinely it was yeah. a very cool mall mm -hmm. a lot of really like, cool stores and people and just um, the, the sites i guess to see there and, and then uh, uh, yeah so we d explored that mall as much as possible we, i think we did three levels ish all three yeah we did all three we scanned we did all three, three. There's a few things we missed yeah. Out in two yeah. Days. yeah and then after that we went to i forgot the place we went to that uh where was it that thing that big entrance place that mat the frame? looked like no oh we went okay we can talk about the frame the frame but what well, was he talking about no i was talking about where we were like that big entrance place with the mansions where we went to the uh, atlantis, aquarium, you're talking about. atlantis oh, that's okay, what i was talking the, about we did the frame first so we talked about yeah, yeah. yeah so the frame genuinely like 
one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. That thing is massive. I don't know who thought of the idea of building that thing, but that thing is genuinely one of the coolest things I think I've seen. Yeah. Gen- after thinking about it properly, um, yeah, the I design think of without, it is without crazy. a drone that you don't get. Do no, you don't even oh, need a drone. Like genuinely, yeah, bro, no. so honestly, just being under it, bro, and driving to it, it genuinely looks so yeah, surreal. They're, it doesn't look like it belongs no, I'm saying, there. Like, for though, a picture it looks to out make of this it look world. Look like a picture frame. No, okay. you can because that's the thing with Dubai, right? They've genuinely fought out their buildings in the sense that it looks like a portal. Bro. Every so there's roads that are leading to it that your brain and your eyes immediately see it, right? Yeah. It's like whoa, and then when you go closer to it. The angles, mm-hmm. I think it's architecturally brilliant. Like the whole, there, it there looks are, so there small are spots, from a distance. There though. are spots for you to take the photos yeah, to get the frame. If you frame, take the yeah. effort, make the effort to do it. That mm. they've thought out. I feel like, like you're saying, most of their buildings they've actually thought out how do people can access it, where they yeah. can take photos, how to make it look a certain way. Yep. Uh, even where we were staying at the Airbnb, all the buildings around us, there was just like i can't explain how beautiful they were and how they all complemented each other in a way you know yeah, yeah, yeah. um but yeah like you were saying the beautiful genuine. the the the, the buy frame i know people kind of sometimes stay away from the tourist attractions yeah we tried doing as many touristy things as we did we could this day the dubai frame is a must yeah i, I genuinely we didn't even get to must. experience the I night think, one apparently it lights yeah, up at yeah, night yeah, from the yeah, pictures yeah. i was yeah. looking at but we didn't uh, unfortunately think, we didn't end up. honestly for experience and cost wise it's genuinely one of the more hmm. cost yeah. effective was it, 15 15 bucks 15, or something yes 15 or 20 yeah yeah it's per person well which is really it. good yeah, yeah i mean it's like, like people will get fooled by seeing it as like just as what it is a frame but the experience inside, you get the views of the city skyline yeah, on one everything. side. You get the views of the King's uh, Park and stuff. Yeah. And, under you, and you also get to, they also give you like a kind of a, a history sort of yeah, yeah. Uh, walk. It genuinely looks so like, a, like the newer side and the older side as well when you're up the top. It looks mm-hmm. like, it genuinely looks like two different places. Worlds, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. It's so cool. Mm. Definitely and worth, the, I definitely recommend yeah. it. Yeah, after the frame, what did we, did we, Atlantis. was it Atlantis right after Atlantis. the frame? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, oh man, Atlantis. We were supposed to do Atlantis and the new building that, um, Atlantis the Royal. Atlantis the Royal. Think, Unfortunately, yeah, we, we didn't get to do. I really do. wanted to do the Royal because yeah. apparently there's a lot of uh, nice cars. Yeah, Daniel was on, was on a mission to see some nice cars. Yeah. Unfortunately, we, we didn't go to the Royal, but yeah. we went but to. we saw some decent ones. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. we went to Atlantis and oh my god atlantis is beautiful wow genuinely. it had a proper entrance when driving in it looked like you were entering like a a different uh, dimension kind of like it had a proper like full g- it was like a disney uh, movie man yeah, it's like we were entering much, a disney much, movie I'd yeah say like that was like, i think that was the concept yeah, 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 on, yeah. it was based on atlantis the yeah, story yeah, yeah, yeah i know but yeah. as in like uh, as in <laughs> know, like you like, actually like, felt it you oh, actually yeah, felt yeah, it yeah yeah absolutely um and we must be nice at least this code's probably first time listening in on this as well um, soon we're going to get to the L day Don't you, know, you are with us <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, uh, talking about that we went um, so the best ex- the best part about that surprisingly was the actual aquarium mm-hmm. I feel like Which for I all of us the main attraction from that yeah. and the water park next yeah, to it yeah the water yeah, park we didn't but, get to experience the water park yeah though. but the aquarium was genuinely like very cool it wasn't I wouldn't say the aquarium was long, but I'd say it was like visually more appealing than I think, most aquariums. I think by far and away the best aquarium I've seen. Yeah. Because the way they've built Just it. Just that one yeah, big that room, w- Yeah. I mean, that's, the thing is, if you were paying attention, yeah. there was a lot of Atlantis, or at least what we think we know of it, history yeah. in the walls. Like those, they had the ornaments. Yeah, and they, they had, had the all that outfits stuff. Yeah, yeah, and all that stuff. Saying. So yeah. they had a lot of actual really cool information there if you paid attention yeah. to it. But... As you were saying, that one room, which we have the footage of, we can add it to it. But it's as soon as you walk in, it's like you're walking into a room that's full of projectors. It doesn't look real, but it's literally the actual fishes and the stingrays and all that in one Mm -hmm. massive area. And it looks, it blows you away as soon as you see it, right? Like visually, it's like, whoa, what is this? You feel like you're inside of it from how big it is. And we, we got really lucky because the time we actually entered that room, we had what two divers going yeah, there the during their feeding, yeah, time. feeding time and, and all of them dude, just grouping up on yeah, them. and we had the go- we had the divers posing for yeah, the photos, yeah, photos yeah, and videos <laughs> okay so for, for the, our listeners um for anyone listening on apple podcasts or spotify yeah. uh what i'm going to do in this video we're trying to describe it as best as we can but for the visual watchers on youtube i'm going to try my best to actually pull visuals of everything we're trying to describe yeah. on screen whether it's a yeah, video or photo yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah thanks i need yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, the aquarium 
man, I just I think we were in that amazing. room for a solid like hour, yeah. genuinely. Just and I didn't want to leave. I feel like it, we were there honest. for ages. We got, we just got a lot, in that one we got room. A lot of, I mean, it's a content creator's dream, honestly. Yeah. And not just that. If you do have kids, yeah, per, perfect place like, to go. Honestly, they'll be, they'll be at that window. For like an hour. Yeah. I can imagine a kid, like if we were there for an, almost an hour, yeah. I can imagine a kid just looking at all the different uh, types yeah. of fishes and stuff. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> it's like the the, the the divers came in very convenient times for us. There was like this um, water, like pool tornado thing in the back that was going off. Yeah, I don't know what of, It almost looked like a know, cauldron so that cool. would let out yeah. bubbles. Yeah, that's what, we'll talk, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm talking That like as well, as well as underrated but we but we all appreciated there was like the uh, lit up jellyfishes as well dude yes yeah. he, we were he, yeah, we were all I, went back I, a couple I, I personally times, every time i've like you know looked at aquariums i've seen people put up photos of the jellyfish that light up yeah. at night uh, and i never managed to capture a really good photo myself but this trip i got some beautiful yeah. ones which i'll put yeah. up on screen once again yeah. um and uh, we'll post hopefully later what on did we we went to and then, Jumeirah, right palm Jumeirah. Palm Jumeirah Jumeirah? Beach, I think after that we did, right? Is yeah, that that's, when, we, that's, that when, we yeah, yeah. The, that's when we went to the. That's when we went to Hurricane. Well, hurricane yeah, well, 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 to I, I do want to add in there. We we decided to go to get some food, and yeah. we originally wanted to go to get those. Uh, what are the cones? It's like donut. A cone made out of don't a donut with ice cream. That was yeah, the original yeah. plan. Yes. That was the plan. Um, that's where I wanted to, and we wanted to get lunch. And when we went there. Um, I accidentally left my wallet inside my Uber driver's car. Yeah, or uh, yeah, yeah. Karim yeah, driver, yeah. sorry. Yeah. And my captain's car. Have they called the drivers <laughs> over their captains? For whatever reason, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I left it inside his car and I was talking to the... Uh, there was a valet over there and I managed to use his phone. He allowed me to use it to call the number and get access to my phone. And um, that was just a funny, really, a really funny ordeal. But we went to what was the name of the restaurant after that hurricane hurricane yeah so Oof, short good i think it's it's an australian uh, <laughs> which is restaurant <laughs> yeah. so it's actually the hurricanes from sydney yeah. but yeah. they have one there which is like the very top popular. of the class which, one which a lot of you will find silly that we're australian in another country well, we, didn't know. Like, we didn't know i, I thought yeah. <laughs> i saw the name i'm like nah sure, but it's not the same hurricanes i want to make any sense so the hurricanes in sydney uh, we used to go that like it was basically religiously at one point every single year we'd go um the one over there though it's <clears throat> because I, I saw the ratings right it was like 4.9 out of like thousands yeah, of ratings so, i'm like yeah. nah i can't be like that's a lot of good ratings and we go there and then i think we got the price was high but we didn't realize how big the portion size was Bro, yeah, yeah it yeah. was like Look, ridiculous all, I, I ended up having a 1.2 <laughs> kilogram yeah, steak tomahawk steak, pretty much yeah. by myself plus the chips yeah I uh, like a fat shit. Was, I'm not yeah. Like, I like a fat shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, we we really uh, spoiled ourselves that night, yeah. and so I was like feeling very, I guess, uh, adventurous. Adventurous. <laughs> decided to get a whole Chicago pizza on his own. I own one that he had. slice. Oh yeah. yeah. The thing is, bet when we saw all our food come in, we were like, "All right, let's bet who's gonna finish, who's not." And I'm like, "To Sol, there's no way you're gonna finish a Chicago pizza." He's like, "Man, you don't know me. I can't." Yeah. He had he one slice not, and was done. Was Daniel done. managed to eat most, I ate my, basically yeah, the majority. Cleaned up my we stuff. tried a bit of the steak, but the majority yeah. of it he ate. And I had my pasta and I ate a lot of the Chicago pizza as well. And I had steak. Yeah. I, I I just yeah. these guys were He's watching a vacuum me eat. This guy, bro. These He's guys were watching me eat the whole time. My pasta and Saul was like, "There's no way you're gonna finish it. There's no way you can finish it." I'm like, oh, "I'm gonna finish it." And <laughs> I did. I'll never I was forget so that Shadi was deliberating uh, whether to get the pasta or not. And the way he depicted it was, bro, the serving size looks so small. Look, imagine this is the pasta, right? This is the pasta. There's a, I can see the pepper and the salt next to it. Look at it, bro. It looks the same size. Pasta gets here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not even that. The pasta was the pasta like, this, like, like I think this. It's not a normal bowl. It was like, it was like a it bowl was that deep. starts like yeah, this. It was deep. Yeah, like yeah. low here. And then it Expands, opens up. Yeah. It was gigantic. <laughs> and I didn't expect it. I managed to finish it. I don't like wasting my food. And I finished and it up. And then he ended up getting, ended up getting anyway. that dessert that and came from the first place. Yeah. <laughs> Right after. And the ice cream was, oh crazy. my God. I think the so thing that stood out for me, there is another story at the thing, which is pretty funny. But the thing that stood out for me is we were in downtown Dubai and you don't really feel like they tell you that uh dubai is stacked with tourists we mm -hmm. didn't feel that in downtown downtown mm. was a mixture mm. but when you get to palm jumeirah and you mm. get to the atlantis and whatnot there is an abundance of tourists yeah. i don't think i saw locals it even at the beach like even at the beach yeah, it was, saying, yeah, palm jumeirah, that whole yeah. region but that yeah but the Ferris was so nice. that takes me to another story yeah. so after we ate we went for a walk around <laughs> it's a gorgeous place to walk around oh, like, the honestly number five. gorgeous right mm. um <laughs> we saw 
we were told stories about how number plates uh, depict power in the way. Yeah. So in terms and, of uh, riches yeah, or wealth, 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 yeah, like, wealth, yeah. power, yeah. whatnot. And we saw a Hummer, elect one of the electric Hummers that had the number plate five, the yeah. number five on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And everyone immediately knew from all the stories that this is it has to be royalty or someone related yeah. to and it. People were walking past taking yeah. photos. Taking we photos. Were taking we, photos. Were, we were tourists doing this. Yeah, which we, we didn't yeah, know. Photos. Apparently, we were, we're not meant to. We did not. Oh, really? Not what do you mean? Someone who someone told us like... Nah, uh, I think you could. There was a million people doing it. Really? I didn't hear nah, anyone tell us off for doing I photos. I remember someone telling me like it's, it not, head. It's, frowned, it's frowned upon. If you oh. hold um, professional cameras. Oh, well, maybe. Well, I was doing all that. Yeah, he was doing it. But anyway, it's... I wanted to say that... Funny enough, before we saw that, that day, another driver had told us that us about it, yeah. apparently the number seven had sold for over 50 or was it 70 million? 50 so million over 50, 50 million, the number yeah. seven, and we saw yeah. number five. So you can only imagine like yeah. how much that costs. But now, granted, yeah. I don't know if you're saying dollars or dirham, but if it was dirham, that's still 20 million. So yeah, 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 yeah. A, lot of money. That's a lot of money. But going back to the story, uh, this Hummer, who was obviously powerful, was parked in a spot next, uh, spot next to the valet yeah. where it was kind of in the way of cars trying to get in and out. It was out definitely the ballet, in the right? way of... No, no, it's like if you were a smaller car, you could probably get yeah, in. Yeah. But, but, then, a, a, but then a bus rocks up. A big bus. A bus starts, field of passengers, mind you, field of passengers gets into this tight spot. It's like to, for the bus to get back out yeah. is not possible almost, right? Like you'd have to stop traffic. Yeah, mm. because there's cars behind it. <laughs> the bus behind starts it. asking questions, talking to the valets, telling them, what can we do? How, how do I get in get out? Right? And we're looking, we're all watching it, right? We're like, how powerful is this actual scenario, right? How powerful is this person? The guys go in, the valets go in. I'm guessing they went to ask if you can move the car or they can move the car for him. The valets come back. And they tell the bus driver, you got to get the passengers off. <laughs> yeah, so everyone starts boarding off. And then all you see is this mission of a bus. Yeah, come sure. in, reverse. Yeah, reverse yeah, just just come to not in, move the come car. In, yeah. This is like a 15 to 20 minute ordeal. Yeah. And this Hummer is just sitting there. I'm like, my dude, you can get up and just move it five nah, meters. Nah. But nope. Pow. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. like, it was just wild to see that how powerful that person is for the valet to not be able to move the car, for them not need to move it and just get... Like you were saying, the, get the bus to get its passengers off, all the traffic to reverse out, and for the bus to make his way through like I've, somehow. I've honestly never seen anything like that. Like that bus, <laughs> like they didn't even have a say, right? It was just like they understood. It's like, oh shit, here we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were lucky to even experience that. Our Uber was taking ages to come, so we were just there waiting, and yeah. we just happened to see no, that. No, that was before accident. the Uber. That was us just checking out the Hummer. We were fascinated by the Hummer. Yeah. This was, was on yeah, Valentine's yeah. Day, by the way. Oh, yeah. Which is probably why, yeah. yeah. Valentine's Day. I was being a very good uh, husband, being away from my partner during <laughs> <Yeah>. Valentine's Day. <laughs> but the, the traffic on the way yeah, back because yeah, of Valentine's Day, yeah. I slept through most of it. We saw some it. good cars. But yeah, Daniel was happy because yeah, he got to like, see yeah, some really, some really good cool cars. Th- honestly, that's probably the biggest takeaway, right? Like they talk about seeing good cars. There is, obviously. But I literally saw more G-Wagons than I saw Toyota. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was going to say. Like, I, don't, I don't know how that works. <laughs> yeah. Like a G-Wagon might be a peasant car. Yeah, uh, I, it might be. Apparently it was. They said that it became so common. It's not a, pro- like, what, not yeah. a proper it's G-Wagon. Like, like it's just like, oh, hey, yeah. another G-Wagon. G-Wagon yeah. <laughs> anyway, we finished from that. And then next day is when we did... Um, the Desert Safari and Warner Brothers. We did the Desert Safari, Warner Brothers, and, and we the did the mosque. The mosque mm-hmm. as well. We started um, off with the mosque. Right? We started off yeah. with the mosque. We st- got up su- pretty decently early, I'd say. Mm-hmm. Um, Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. Yes, yes. Sheikh yeah. Zayed Grand yeah. Mosque. Uh, that was when we have a we had a private thing for it as well. Uh, as a tour, it was yeah. like a tour, a private yeah. tour. I'll let, I'll I'll let think, you think talk. It has to be credited. I'll let Co yeah. talk about it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll, I'll let you. Once, a, once again, thank you so much. I just want to say in advance, visit Abu Dhabi yeah. for the opportunity, genuinely, and for special, the hospitality and everything. Shout out, special shout out to Valentina yes. as well. What was his name? Rami? Was it Rami? Uh, not it sure. might have been right. it sounds remember. it sounds right honestly but, but yeah valentino uh, mainly i would say she helped us throughout the whole ordeal yeah. and we had I, I believe his name was rami yeah. uh at the mosque but we yes got, tell we, us about we, the experience we got some dope treatment for yeah. the mosque mm. so we got there we got out of the car and we got to go on the like basically they took us on those what are they called the cars, those, carts, the carts, I guess. Call those carts, carts yeah. like the one we had at the airport they just drive us around. Call them bougie carts, yeah man. Carts. <laughs> everyone just walking yeah. around up and down and we're just so driving yeah, past everyone's like walking around and stuff yeah. and we're getting like toured around on, on the carts and it's like i i knew it was a sin being like rolled around on carts <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the mosque because as soon as i got off the first time my oh, yeah. my pants got caught in a 
a loose bolt or something. Yeah. And it tore up. <laughs> it tore up my pants from my knee down, and I looked like a homeless person. Around the and in the mask, there's rules of what you should wear yeah. and not yeah. wear. Yeah. Right. There's like you can't wear shorts. You can't wear like. It has to be, I think, below the knees. The yeah, shorts. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah, wear yeah, anything. Yeah. yeah. So that that's the thing. And now I got like a pants that kind of looks like a short because yeah. there's a hole in my pants. Yeah. And the worst part is, it's like they're documenting this yeah. thing. So so I, mean, I I was recording it. I was documenting. Uh, I was doing footage, and they had a photographer and I'm um, maybe a videographer as well. Yeah, like yeah. I said, Documenting. And, and, and you. I'm 100 sure they're not. They scrapped everything because <laughs> 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 because that stuff didn't come out. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> Bro, I was walking around not, like like absolutely homeless. You have to mm. sit, like, you, you got to show them. It's hard yeah, to explain yeah. how the look. Like, but. Shady will post up a picture yeah. of what happened. <laughs> yeah. And basically, my 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 pants was just like flopping down, yeah. pretending you can see my shins and stuff. Yeah. And they they explained to me like the elegancy and the the history, the, <laughs> the history and the pureness of the mask, yeah. And yeah. how elegant and beautiful it is. And I got my pants <laughs> waving in the wind. <laughs> I think I think I from that day I understood how ripped jeans became a thing. Yeah. yeah. So code was creating yeah. ripped sweatpants. Yeah. yeah. It was ripped, ripped sweatpants. It was a good look on you. <laughs> Yeah, okay yeah. regardless of that embarrassing thing <laughs> we got to see the mosque like by ourselves yeah. but not pretty much no yeah. no crowds <coughs> full private. and uh, we got to see the main rooms and everything it's like i've never seen something so beautiful up genuinely close. genuinely and it's like even like from the ceilings all the way to the persian rugs i think mm -hmm. they were their actual persian rugs and they've been there for like 20 years or, or more the rugs and they were like soft yeah they're soft as like they're new yeah. And they get, yeah, that, yeah. bro. They, I don't think you could have found the spe speckle of the like, you yeah, want, it's yeah. so it well maintained. Wow. And it has, look, honestly, for what it is, you get it, right? But I can't stress enough from an archae archaeological perspective how perfect that structure is. Yeah, like the everywhere you look. What did I say? Archaeological. Oh, yeah. I was, gonna say, I was wondering. You I'm like, I was wondering. You, I'm went, like, you went back in time, bro. <laughs> I mean, if we're going to deliberate, right? Yeah, it yeah. could work yeah. in theory. In, all right, in theory. theory. <laughs> From an architectural point, uh, yeah. point of view, it was honestly mind bending how amazing it was. Like, you just, I'm trying to take photos and I don't even need to create the angles, yeah. right? Sometimes you need to, as a photographer, you create angles to look, make perspective of certain shots. It's that, it's done for you. Yeah. It's like everything is placed purposefully and it's like, like it's incredible and you gotta understand like everything has a purpose there like as you said like even i even asked him about why do you have water like the water on the side is just aesthetic and it wasn't for aesthetic it's it literally cools down the the tiles and the environment around it because it's always hot there yeah mm. that and makes sense. Yeah, yeah and it's like everything has a purpose mm. and also there's a part of the mosque that recites the quran the whole time yeah over and over and over again. I think oh yeah, the guy was, was saying after the after sheikh passed. Passed. Right? Yeah. yeah so there's always okay. someone yeah. in that room there's always reciting someone in Quran. That re reciting it. I think I don't know if it was a, like is someone reciting it or is it a machine reciting? No, it? as he said, there's a bit, ever since someone has I ever since a, he had it, passed away because it's twenty four seven. I think it's some it's, it's a, something. Yeah, the yeah. room has never been empty since he passed away. So there's always someone yeah. reciting in there, and without that room being empty, so always. Someone else has to enter before the other person leaves. Yeah. Uh, so it's oh, always okay. so it's always full. Yeah, it's yeah, always yeah. been yeah. full since Amazing. he passed away. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, which was um, crazy. Yeah. Was and cool. it was even there was he was even I think Rami. Hopefully that was, that was his name. Yeah. Um. What was Very his name? nice Sorry. dude. Yeah. Uh, cool. He was explaining to us as well a lot of the structure. You'll see some places where there's like the tiles on the wall or on the pillars, which make like a like let's say a flower. Yeah. Every single piece handcrafted, placed each, and they're all different but and everything done by hand yeah, yeah. It, it's just you look at it as like oh, you cannot believe it also yeah. the design you of the mosque believe. they wanted to incorporate the world so they have tiles from certain places like jordan yeah. they have tiles makes from, sense with like, the persian rugs from, yeah. Yeah. they have stuff from europe they have trees from out of the country as well they, yeah. have, they have so many things from around the world to make this complete which is beautiful Genuinely and it's like it makes me want to like I never had interest to go to mosques, like to see them. Like I love looking at them in pictures and aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. And mm -hmm. stuff. But seeing it in person for the first yeah. time makes me want to go to. It's, it's insane though. You genuinely feel so small when you're in there. Yeah. It, yes. Yeah. It's genuinely. Like, I don't know if it's like. But not in a demeaning way. No, no, it's not. It's, it's like, like I think it's it's internally. It's not like you have an ego or anything. But internally, yeah. it kind of humbles you in the sense of what's around you. Yeah. It's like whoa. 
yeah like it's incredible yeah and, and uh, yeah. that's going back to um we, we were, with us saying you know there's some tourist attractions that you know people aren't too sure if they should go to the grand mosque is i believe a must yeah. you should go to experience that it's just beautiful yeah, being Robert, whether you are religious or not it is just something that i think well, people I did, can appreciate saying, right? without yeah. Yeah, it's just just humans put it's this so, together like it's genuinely the inside is one of the most saying. beautiful things i've ever yeah, seen yeah the architecture and itself the man. chandeliers coming down as well I mean, the, sto mm. the story behind it's incredible yeah right? the, the fact that it's a religious mosque and yeah. all that one is amazing religious mosque doesn't really make yeah. sense but anyway <laughs> uh the, if you go there just from an actual architect fan or liking that sort of stuff that's yeah, yeah. number one on the list for sure yeah. and uh well i guess that will kind of is there anything else that we want to talk about for the mosque no, I think we'll lead on no. to the next. I mean, I just I wanted to mention how much like we were there while there was other tourists there, and yeah. those tourists, you kind of saw what the actual normal tour is like. Yeah. So it was genuinely a privilege for us what yeah, we were. Of course, thanks again yeah, for very, setting thank that you so up much. for us. If anyone, if you, I, I, I heard, I was told that there is access to get that sort of tour, but it is limited. Um, if you are able to afford it or get the opportunity to do that, the the guided private tours, I would recommend that. But if you can't. You, can, you still have an amazing experience regardless yeah, but thank you so much for, thank you for allowing us to experience that um, it was then we went from, to, from there to the no, we, 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 we got his, oh, we got his pants we so went to the first. mall after it because yeah. we got a sewing kit shady yeah. turned into grandma macgyver <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <So> basically <laughs> we were trying to figure out how we're gonna be able to fix code's pants like we didn't think we'd be able to find anything uh that's necessarily similar to what he's wearing the material like comfortable for him so i'm like you know what i know how to sew i can sew your pants for you and they were at first i started laughing and joking i'm like guys no i'm not i'm being serious so we went to a mall and got a sewing kit yeah. and um now you can picture yeah. this we're in the parking lot <laughs> need, undercover parking don't lot. need a picture we have footage but anyway, <laughs> yeah. we have footage. so it was kind of like a not so lit parking lot so we were in a dark corner yeah. and there's a guy on the floor stitching my pants yeah you, you, you guys, visual, oh money, you guys visualize guy. the rice. Yeah. <laughs> you, guys you, you, you guys can put the picture together, and like every car that goes past is like, "What the hell are these guys doing?" Anyway, we 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 did all that, and then I can't forget the cinnabons. Oh, oh, we got Cinnabons. Yes. I, I, I've tried Cinnabons before. I literally before. vacuumed those things. I've tried like, Cinnabons before angry. when I was in the <laughs> states, and I told Daniel, "Man, you got to try Very these." Nice. Uh, some people don't love them. I. It's fat. Oh, that's so good. It's definitely it's fat. So I felt like a yeah. proper sugar rush after yeah. eating that. And then we finally made our way to one of our. Well, well we, had, we had to tell him like he did a great job. So we'll show him the aftermath. I mean, you can say oh, it. You can say okay, okay, no, 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 no. You guys know me. I've got like I think like an OCD thing. He because we're in a rush. He didn't let me allow. He didn't allow me to sew it the way I normally would. I was in a rush. That's not Bro, a perfect job. We weren't gonna job. stay there for fifteen I know, hours, I know, man. I know. I'm just saying. I was not happy with it, but it worked out thankfully. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Shady being a jack of all trades. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. Shout Thanks. out to Valentina yeah. for understanding that yeah. we're weird. Yeah, I know that. She, she put up with all of it. She's just sitting in the car. I genuinely feel us. like she was enjoying it. Buddy. Yeah, she, she seemed. I don't know. I mean, hey, wrong, look, if this story cool. hasn't been repeated to the next uh, tours. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, but we, so after the whole sewing ideal uh ordeal sorry we went to yeah you were saying warner brothers, warner movie brothers and we got we got dude. like the problem with the tour it wasn't anything wrong with the tour at all like they gave us even the flash passes it wasn't a tour we just got access to it we didn't really get a tour off, she was kind of telling us where the stuff in that were so we, we asked her though we asked her though. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really she was okay. just following so us it was more so of an experience yeah. and yeah. they gave us the fast bonuses pass. of getting the fire flash fast passes mm -hmm. which kind of speeds you in yeah. you well, it, does, it does what the you name suggests right? well, yeah. i think we went on a day that wasn't as busy um yeah. but it, it makes you skip yeah. the majority of queues yeah you, so you essentially a 15 minute queue ends up being like two three minutes or whatnot yeah and it was like we're not theme park people usually right so oh, shady geez. shady did a few I, am, yeah, I tried yeah. to be. shady shady <laughs> shady, did, <laughs> shady, about that. shady did a few of the rides and he looked like he was loving life but i think one above his movie world you have to be like either a mad theme park head or mm -hmm. you have to be with your family right yeah so for us it was more like all right let's use this as a break after and the fit. first <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, that, yeah, sure. that too. Um, it's pretty so, tough. Yeah, so, yeah. so we were, so we were experienced. We experienced a few things. It was fun. Like it was genuinely fun. But it's more so. We've been to Gold Coast. We've been to the other ones. We've been mm -hmm. the ones in America. So it's kind of we've experienced it, right? We were there mainly for unique experiences yeah. for us. Yeah. So if we're being honest, that was more like a downtime, yeah. get our energy back from the thing because we knew what was coming. And, and thank you to I, be I believe was the name of the restaurant Hollywood something. 
I'm not sure what was the name of the restaurant yeah, we went to. Yeah, Hollywood something. I can't, uh, remember, I can't remember the name, the name of it. I put it, it was up on covered screen. Or something. They they made seen. sure to take care of us. Yeah. They even let me in the kitchen to film while we we're getting oh, our yeah, food. True. They treated us like. Oh, I forgot about that. I think yeah. that was. Yeah. I, think really, that, really I think cool. that was from visit Abu Dhabi as well. As well, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Said, but the team there yeah. themselves, yeah. the manager, yeah. were really kind and yeah. allowed me to film. And like I said, took me to the the oven. That was really cool. There is actually there is actually one memory that stood out from there. Well, that was Daniel going up on stage with the Looney Tunes. Oh yeah. Oh, I mean, technically two two memories because I don't know if I talk about the roller coaster or do. You tell us about the roller coaster. <laughs> the roller coaster ordeal, bro. <laughs> um, okay, so basically, um, I don't do rides at all. I'm very like scared of rides in my like I j I haven't tried them to know if I'm scared of them, but just visually looking at them, I'm scared of them. <laughs> anyway, um, Shady wants wanted to do rides, and there was this one with like these planes doing one of these ones, <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I think uh, it was the scarecrow ride, right? I think so. I don't yeah, know, but I'm like for the boy, I'm like for the culture, I'm oh new for new, the content, bro. Yeah, for, for the, the content, content even. I'm like new place, new me, whatever, I'll go. We line up, get on this thing. I'm excited. I'm excited and very nervous and scared. <laughs> and then um there's like this hatch, there's like this hatch thing that needs to come down. Suck in your stomach, okay. Sucking it in. It's, it didn't make a clicking sound. The lady comes, the lady comes out so <laughs> she's pushing, she's, pushing it she's, down. she's trying her she, best to push she the, was, the, the thing. She was uh, unfortunately she i was, was too giving. fat so. <laughs> okay, okay i just want you guys to picture this it was re it was really fun the, the, the thing is she, yeah. so she tried originally pushing it down off her hand <laughs> it didn't work she looked back at her co-worker and the co-worker's like doesn't work she turned around and she's like okay let's lift it up and start again she's like lift it up daniel she's like suck your stomach in as much as you can tries to close it doesn't work and then <laughs> she literally jumped up on the seat yeah, legit. shoving her up. whole body weight yeah. jumping <laughs> pushing down yeah, then, he was, then he was like oh look at that then he's like oh, oh. <laughs> he's struggling and then she looks at him and she's like gotta get up <laughs> we ended up going on another ride anyway that was pretty cool too. That, it was so funny it, it was such a funny Daniel, experience Daniel, Daniel i tried had, to conquer my Daniel, fears and it, had his that's why you don't conquer yeah. your fears bro yeah, no, i'm never doing it again well, <laughs> why if, ever since like like we said, we've been focusing on our health. You mm. have dropped a lot yeah, since then you. as yeah, well. So good on you. Yeah, keep that up. His redemption are kicked. <laughs> yeah. he'll, go, he'll go back to yeah, it. He's, he's like, gone. this he, time he I'm He has one on. reason and one reason only to back <laughs> to one of those new rules. Yeah. That's yeah. gone straight for that scarecrow, right? Yeah. And <laughs> we also went through the Joker, the Joker walkthrough, which was really funny. Code, we went through Code. We code was code. speed he's running. Speed running. We were trying to work. We couldn't even get content of Code because he was left. I'm trying to film. Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to film, get content. Where's Code? Where's Code? Code's gone. I freaked out. Even just content, right? So we're yeah. going in there, and we don't know what the hell's going on. First and foremost, right? There's a whole dialogue at the start where Joke is talking to you through TV screens and whatnot. Yeah. And you're in this mini sort of massive elevator or sort of yeah, it thing. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's weird. And then the door in front of you opens and whatnot. And then the a maze of mirrors is one of those ones, right? And I don't think Code's ever been in one of them. And I'm like, this dude's probably gonna freak out because he's got bad eyesight already. So he probably doesn't know what's going on. This dude's 100% gonna run into a mirror or a window here for sure. And I'm like, okay, let's keep up with him. Let's like, get this content because one, it could be funny, yeah. and two, actually, just look after him. Yeah. The dude, I've never seen him walk so fast in my life. Like, I'm like, how yeah. am I not keeping up with this dude? Like, and honestly, like, credit to him because you know the concept of sink or swim when you're yeah, about yeah, to die yeah. or something. That's what happened to him. Yeah. Like, this dude made it through that maze, not bumping into anyone. No, no, I not hit, bumping. I, I hit two mirrors. Oh, okay, okay, well, there you okay, go. There you go. Well, we didn't see you because you were speed I hit running him hard as well. It's like. Why is there a reflection yeah. here? <laughs> you know what? It was it was easier for us because we were in the back and we were just following everyone doing it. Like, yeah, but that's, yeah, I feel like if you were by yourself, it would have been hard. That's the problem. My worst amazing. problem yeah. is I when followed, there's people there. Yeah. you just follow the yeah. leader. If you were by yourself, it would have been hard. Then they lost their daughter, and I followed their little daughter because <laughs> <laughs> she went into a mirror. So I went into a mirror. I was like, <laughs> learn how to do it. I'm putting <laughs> my life. I'm putting my life in the hands of a six-year-old. I'm hoping. I'm hoping the footage was captured, but I was dying of laughter and thinking about it it's so funny because i'm walking with my camera i'm filming and i'm trying to i see code's reflections going by and i'm like code wait up code wait up and code's like going like this yeah, going and you can see the reflections and i'm like code wait up where's he going and i'm, I'm, I'm thinking I, I see him in front of me i'm like oh team it's a reflection i can hear oh, you it's I'm like, like code, it's like, it. it's like code wait up i'm like no satan i don't want to. i was honestly i was half expecting to be made up with him knocked out or something. yeah i was half expecting i'm like but, dude how like how is this shit gonna survive 
<laughs> oh, but yeah, that, that was that was so funny. And then it's like I, I was so hard to get out. I didn't notice that the room was going smaller through that door, mm-hmm. and I hit my head. Yeah. <laughs> you know that door. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think and that uh, was the only. Like I, th- I don't think there was anything else for that. Yeah, uh, that that, that was basically that the gist of it. That was a quick one. It was a quick one. Because to be honest, we, we were in a bit of a rush. Well, we were, yeah, we were in a rush for the next one. For yeah, the uh, best experience, at least for Daniel and I. And I don't know about you guys. No, I was good. That was I think for us. Shout out to what's his name, Shemsi. Uh, Shamsi, I think so. Yeah. Uh, the thing about how do you remember his name? And all yeah, that? I know. <laughs> I, 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 here's the thing. This, this is off topic, but to remember something, I have to attach it to something. Yeah. I remembered that it sounded like sun uh, and oh, in Arabic, okay. and I like I kind of connect. Yeah. We're sort of off topic as well. He was supposed to. He got my number. He was supposed to send me on WhatsApp a message so I Dude, can he forgot give you as soon as you left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he wanted my. He wanted the footage that uh, I was recorded. He's like, yeah. send it to me first. Yeah, I'm but like, that okay, that but homie yeah. is like, is like very us, nice guy. We went into his car and it's like okay we're gonna do a safari and he's like he was so confident i'm like yeah i trust him yeah no he was yeah. a bro he does oh he did it for all celebs yeah, I think that's but the, anyways yeah, i'm sorry, sorry rolling yeah, back yeah. rolling back the next thing we went to was the desert abu dhabi desert safari which is highlight uh, of the, the basically the start of it it's, it's like a it's a it's a series of things but you but the start of it is basically you get in a, a four-wheel drive with one of the skilled very skilled very professional drivers, very experienced drivers extremely yeah. experienced uh the one we were with was 15, 15 20 years, years, 15 years yeah. of experience um and they take you to the desert and they drive you over up and down the dunes and thank you again to the i think the name was was it capital i think the company capital brand. Something, yeah. um thank you so much they gave i let them know i would like to f- film some drone footage and they our driver stopped on top oh, of a, yeah. the desert yeah. and were very nice gave guy. me some phenomenal footage which, yeah. I'll, which i'll show you, you guys but yeah you were saying with the experience i was yeah like you see the footage online right it's like okay so it's just driving over no. and the dunes and stuff so it's it looks fun right yeah. it looks it looks like okay this is a good experience it was right? fun it was but fun. honestly it's it's <laughs> genuinely a workout it's yeah. insane how stress for i think all like, of us got to I the point where we're about I to think, vomit i think yeah that's what i'm saying i mm. think if you're what's the word like I, I definitely want to take my pregnant wife on it if you get motion sick if you yeah, get motion definitely sick definitely a lot of motion no, sick not even motion sick easily right like we i haven't had motion sickness in years no, that was, I, I, I was there bro but if that's you what get what it easy say. you're gone that's yeah. what i was gonna say yeah, for, for me i go on a lot of roller coasters i have as of yet never experienced any motion sickness. any motion sickness maybe maybe once a little bit but it's extremely rare and i go on a lot of rides dude that that, that was something yeah. else you get a lot of motion sickness but it's worth it, it is, and it's it part is. of the, the reason experience. you get a lot of motion sickness is because there's a lot of jagged movements yeah, mm. but it's not the same as yeah because you're literally you're literally flipping your body inside yeah. out yeah. that's what yeah. happened right like i'm telling you the whole experience you're like this yeah yeah and we got footage of so many <laughs> angles of us <laughs> laughing the thing is it started off with all of us laughing and screaming the end, we and then at done, the, right at the end of the right it was like we want to get to the tent they're, they're taking to a campsite mm. um uh that's the goal is where they're taking you along that route is the campsite and all of us i was just recording soul and kind of just like oh my god we need to get there we're yeah, gonna throw up we're gonna throw up yeah. and our driver was extremely kind he stopped when we needed to yeah. showed us he everything stopped for the camels yeah he, he camels. stopped us at the camel farm camels daniel and i got yeah. to see which were really really cool they were the homies them, yeah, yeah. Cool. That, was, that, them was, them yeah. that wasn't that uh, camel experience that was after they no no i'm talking about yeah. oh, oh we're talking about the camel farm no, i know what you're talking about camel bro we stopped at a camel another camel thing and oh, then we went to the camp things? area yeah yeah, yeah. one was so. riding one was uh, uh padding yeah yeah so yeah. we yeah we were uh we got to play with the the <laughs> we, we got the we got the pet and see camel uh camels at the farm really I up think, close and even baby ones i yeah. think i'll never forget though shaddy towards the end of the trip at the end of the drive he was laughing at me the whole drive he knew i was i was basically i would say a good five more minutes i was throwing yeah. up there was no doubt in my yeah. mind i was gone i was holding it in for yeah. like half the, uh, the trip and then shaddy just before we got there he's trying to record me like a funny bugger and like looking at me he's laughing at me at the same time he's like <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was feeling it i was really feeling I'm like, it. how's it feel shaddy how's it feel <laughs> it was so funny it was a really cool experience was, and was. how did you find that you and daniel and I felt that right. I felt yeah, it was. You yeah, enjoyed it, like, regardless. Yeah, of yeah, it, it was me, fun. It made, it made like the Shemsi re- made me question gravity. I don't know how it works. Yeah. Anymore. <laughs> it's oh, like your body doesn't want yeah. happening. Yeah. It was really cool. I'm pretty though. sure we went upside down at one point. <laughs> <laughs> we were. Yeah. We were yeah basically, <laughs> like but we were about very cool experience. I'd recommend it. Um, but yeah, if you're very motion 
Do you, if you get no, no, easy emotions, no, no, no. Sickness, no, no. If, no, even no, if you are, you have to experience it. No, 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 no. no. you're gonna be thrown nah, up. The trust, bit. That's why he has bags. Well, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, if you got motion sickness, uh, really bad, like get motion sickness easily, you will most likely throw up. But if you're willing to take that and handle the, that feeling, it is worth it. I yeah. think at the, yeah, I think uh, that's tenfold. at the end of the day, it's worth the experience. Yeah. Absolutely, mm-hmm. no doubt in my mind. It, it was the most memorable part of yeah. the yeah. for me. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, not for Daniel and I. Not for Daniel and I. Yeah, yeah. Well, you guys can continue the thing. Anyway, we ended up. Uh, we finished with that, and then there's like a little um, campsite. Campsite they have with like they they uh, provide food. We got our um. Uh, the traditional outfits yeah, in Dubai. Yeah, Shed border. Again, I had another experience where I was fat as shit. And yeah, I could been. only get the head thing. I so I had, that was two in, so it was funny two, two in one. I had that. Oh, he, yeah, the, guy, the, guy the, the guy trying to sell it to us was like, so, then he was like to him, oh, would you have my size? I don't think you would. The guy was like, no, no, we do. We do definitely. Yeah, he comes yeah. back with his bigger size and then he tries it on. And it didn't, didn't so work it out. wasn't fitting. Bro. It wasn't bigger size. Um, anyway. Uh, but yeah, uh, just, to, just to say, because before we get into what Daniel and I experienced, because you guys were at the campsite the whole time how yeah. what did you guys do we did, actually don't even know what you I did and how what you experienced the, the camp in. the camp is what it's supposed to be right i think the whole point of the trip is experience the brutality of what is the drive there mm-hmm. but and then, then rest, it's all relaxation yeah. after mm. that right they have like seating on you the see, ground like traditional day <clears throat> you watch the like the, the performance dancing, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you eat the food they have i will the, say though tea. i will say though depending on what experience you want be objectively careful with the the stalls that yeah. are there at the yeah. campsite. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. they try to hustle. Yeah, because yeah. I ended up paying because I couldn't be bothered hassling. Uh, I ended up paying what was it like two hundred Australian for yep. like seven printed photos of us. They were good, good, good photos. I'm not gonna say you're they're so, you're supporting the economy. So but so. Yeah. Yeah, look, look, honestly, if you want to help out the people there, sure, go yeah. for it. But I'm saying you're gonna get charged that I'm gonna let because you're white. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> the thing is, if, if you're doing if you're doing the desert safari like guide the tour or whatever it is, the food is complimentary I'm, as far as i'm aware right the food was yeah. you definitely couldn't go back for seconds though oh i did oh, pff, but i got back for thirds oh, man i was yeah, going yeah. at it oh, i was like well, well done to you bro yeah yeah, yeah i went back after giving code his plate the guy gave me one serving of chicken i'm like oh, <laughs> he's like, like you already cousin, took your food my cousin, <laughs> cousin you saw me give the yeah. plate to code i'm not getting <laughs> tried to get to me i'm not gonna lie i took a piece of chicken and he came up with a new fresh one i'm looking at it he went up and down i'm like i'm like i want it please and he gave it to me like but, um uh, yeah, we're, yeah so that yeah they ended, they ended up um chilling there and then the best part of the whole trip uh thankfully we got to experience this the end me and um uh shady for about I'd say maybe 45 minutes to an hour we went on buggies me and Shady oh, just man. us Jeez. it was a private thing too yeah. just me me Shady and the, there's a guy we have to follow just yeah, to be there's safe there's a guy in a quad bike yeah. who, will, who would lead the yeah. way and you just follow him Daniel who's in his own buggy I was in yeah. my own best um, experience of dude, one of I, the best things in my life yeah genuinely. and we did it during sunset I I, I would highly recommend it it was so fun yeah. it was unlike anything I experienced yeah. I was I tried setting up my uh, my camera on it um which i didn't and for some reason now that i think back i had my gopro i didn't use it but i recorded the whole thing on my phone while i was driving and the guy told us that wherever i go you guys follow and we'll be fine um which we did for most of the part until daniel decided to be a little (laughs) he got really excited and drove in front of us up on top of a the the, the, a a june (laughs) yeah and he almost flipped the whole (laughs) vehicle which was funny (laughs) but the the, the experience was just unlike Uh, like i don't even like i can't even explain it like we went during sunrise sunset uh, 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 sorry sunset and i had i think you had it as well we had these orange visors during the sunset so like genuinely the sky was like orange for me when i was, mm-hmm. like i looked at my video later like it was cool but it's just like it didn't capture the orange but, uh, my, like, my visor was clear it wasn't orange. Oh, like, my yeah, visor so was proper like orange cool so it was like yeah. bright like the sky was orange, orange. Yeah, yeah. like it was the, one of the coolest things i've seen i'm just looking at this dude's smile he's just waiting for that camera yeah yeah i know i can <laughs> see oh, oh, oh what are you smiling at because they had fun oh, yeah you know it was <laughs> thanks to code <laughs> thanks to code yeah, yeah, honestly it is, happy. it's it's a huge <laughs> yeah. I, I i i have to say it i mean 
thanks again to visit Abu Dhabi yeah, for the whole experience. But that and especially so thank you to Code. Like, yeah, we're gonna say you, that for every all the experience genuinely. and everything you do so much for us, and we wouldn't be able to experience all this without you. Genuinely, thank but you. But that that was uh, one oh, of the best things I've that ever is, experienced. That made the trip like the best trip I've ever done. Just that experience mm. alone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was Hawaii yeah, for yeah, ages. Just I think just dug the Hawaii. Yeah, yeah it was that. Like, to uh-huh. look, Hawaii was well, good, and I feel like because it was because it was like the first trip I ever done outside of like Syria. I feel like that was like. It had us. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> For anyone listening on the Spir- bloody Spotify, I just hit the mic into my mouth. But anyway, yeah, on God, just say less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it had a it had a special place in my heart, but like just that uh, buggy thing was different. Anyway, after we finished from the buggy thing. I've, again, I felt courageous. I was like, I'm going to ride a camel. <laughs> and Shady, uh, Shady was doing the camel thing with me. May I have the honors? May I have the honors yeah, of explaining this? So I did the camel ride first. The guy told me to hop on. I was worried. I'm like, oh, is he going to be able to lift me and stuff? The camel, the absolute tank, yeah. uh, lifted me up with, you know, fairly easily. And we were running around. The, fun, the thing is, when I, went, when I rode around the camel, <laughs> on the camel, I was on it for, I'd say, maybe five or ten minutes. <laughs> And then Daniel's like the guy's like to it Daniel. Five, no, it was I'd say five minutes. No, no, was... no, I'm telling you, I promise you, I promise oh. you. If we look back at the footage, I was on it for much longer than really? you. I was on it for much longer than <laughs> you. <laughs> so, so, I, the, the, when, so when I got off the camel, the guy was like to Daniel, "Do you want to go on?" And then he's like, "No, no, it's alright." The guy's like, "Come on, you should do it." I'm like, "Daniel, are you sure?" He's like, "I don't know, can you hold me?" The guy's like, "No, yeah, you can." <laughs> and then so Daniel's like, "You know what?" I'm going to do this from the outside perspective. I'll record this, by the way. <laughs> he, he hopped on the back of the camel and the camel, the guy, when he, he does like a loop of his, um, I don't know, the leash yeah. and tells it to get up, the camel will hop up with back legs. No, it's when you go like this, he said you got to yeah, move. You, gotta you sit back, back yeah. you lean back, but the camel gets up on its own. It's not That's on you. No, he tells the camel to get up. Does he? Yeah, He's yeah, the yeah. one that said you lean back and you You're, don't get when up. He says lean back and the cam- when the camel's going up. No. He yeah, said yeah. you lean back and then the camel goes up. Oh, when I was on... Oh, anyway, oh, either anyway, way, it doesn't matter. matter. Yeah, Daniel gets on the back of the hind legs and this it felt like this camel <laughs> was on its last rep for the biggest yeah. max rep squat yeah. it's ever done. <laughs> it is getting up really slow and all he hears the camel go... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I basically took three L's in one day. Bro. I, I took three L's in one day. I, I, I got hit with the right thing. I got hit with the, the traditional closing thing. And this camel was struggling for it. Like, all in one day. Bro. And he managed to get up. And the, the guy and I were laughing. So yeah, the guy was laughing right. too. The guy. <laughs> we were, yeah. we were, I was just laughing. I can get Shady laughing. Why is this guy laughing? And, and the guy. <laughs> and he, he took literally Daniel around for a little while. <laughs> like I would say uh, at least a quarter of the time that I went on and I got him off it but it was the funniest thing and that ki- oh, I just I, I don't know how you found the ride it was no, really it was good. cool it was but- cool I don't know like, I was too scared like I've had a chance to ride a horse <laughs> I've had a chance to ride a horse before uh, okay <laughs> Oh, what's, the, what, what's the chance of the camel not with us? Hey, hey, he looked genuinely like dead too. I put it up to the I thought I put it was gonna snap his legs getting uh, back down. I'm not gonna lie, bro, but he I got was down patting it after we finished, bro. That thing looked look, correct. Yeah, yeah, look, yeah. If I'm being completely honest, though, I absolutely respect your endeavor. Honestly, you did. You, you went through all those experiences and just said, you know what, I'm gonna be better for it. No, no, good on you. Bro. I respect. I respect. You. Thank you. Bro. It was funny. He was patting him after. He wrote it just like the murderer coming back. Yeah, he looked like he genuinely looked tired, bro. I felt so bad. Straight up. He oh, looked done for the day, oh, bro. Yeah, I felt so bad. Bro. Yeah, it was so cool. But, so uh, and then we, um, after we finished everything, we went and kicked back with Soul and Code, and we were just chilling. Um, they, we had, ate they, together. Had, they had the belly dancers. Yeah. They, had a, they had a male one as yeah, well, which was like a light up clothing and the dress. Yeah, he was awesome. Mm, yeah, he was awesome. I, I mean, that, yeah, and then we just. There's a video of me dancing with him. We have a video of me dancing with him. You can put that you feel. Yeah. As well. And but, then yeah, we yeah. just saw at the night. Uh, Shamsi drove us back. Mm. We found the way out of. Uh, it's amazing. Did you, I thought we were going to do the drive. Yeah, back, exactly. There's an exit there, so yeah, you don't have to straight out. Yeah. yeah for it. anyone worrying, when you get to the campsite, you're not going to go back the way you did with the dunes. You yeah, an exit. it's just straight out. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. you but you don't feel any dunes at all. It's yeah. Just bang bang. And yeah, the drive back was pretty easy. I mean, that's that's what Abu Dhabi Dubai is. It's literally a straight road. Mm-hmm. Literally straight road. So it's an uh, hour and a half a thing. But that's. Pretty much what we did, right? We went, back to, we went back to the way. Uh, shout out to Code's favorite breakfast place. I think it was called Go Breakfast Bagel Bowls and Eggs. 
Something along those lines. Is that the legendary place? Watermelon, feta, watermelon, feta, watermelon, feta, and walnut salad. Yeah. Yeah. He sounds strange to the outside. Where but apparently it's the best thing. It is the best thing I've ever eaten. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I can't find it in. Nah, it was. Well, I tried it once. Like, it was very good. I'll, I'll have to try it again. It was very good. I don't know if they got honey roasted stuff on it. I don't know what it was. Listen, they must have something in there. Maybe drugs. I don't know. It's the best thing. But yeah, those are done. That was it. I think we went straight. The next day we left. Yeah, we went straight. We had like a seven a.m. flight, right? Yeah, yeah, we. Oh, yeah, we, we were, were pretty wrecked uh we went once again flew back with emirates and uh this time around daniel soul and i were all in premium economy i got an upgrade and uh yeah. a code was were you first again yeah, i can't yeah, remember first class first. and yeah I, c- I couldn't go back to the yeah. normal life <laughs> yeah the, the, the premium economy uh was great obviously you don't have the privileges of uh being in your own seat and going access getting access to the lounge and and all that but the uh, cl- the staff or the crew mates yeah, the crew were crew. amazing once again he found out we spoke arabic and he was yeah. <laughs> he was treating the, us like the yeah, best the whole yeah. night and the interior was amazing and like beautiful. the wood the wood grain the leather yeah. it's, yeah. it's just amazing honestly look if for the people that can't afford the jump from economy to business because it is a steep jump, i think it's like a seven eight thousand dollar jump it's yeah. big but premium is worth it if you get the chance to go on premium yeah. absolutely worth mm-hmm. it. much Massive, more space m- more yeah, comfortable. way more yeah, especially for people like i would say uh, like us with all our needs let's say i need the leg room oh, yeah, man that the, pr- the premium room. was great uh, and you know <laughs> it's good enough. <laughs> i don't know what to say after <laughs> that good enough. for any larger people, no, you know, the people for the people that need space yeah, yeah that's uh, <laughs> genuinely <laughs> how are you bringing up the camera <laughs> I think, no, genuinely, I think, premium economy is a big jump from economy yeah, I, think, I think leg the, biggest, room wise, the yes. biggest thing was because of code flying first class we all got to go with him to the they have their own section of the airport for mm. first class which literally oh the lounges the yeah. lounges no not just the lounges oh like even the suitcase yeah, 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 yeah. they literally just speed run yeah. throughout for the airport yeah. you don't get anything you don't see the Dubai airport at all until yeah. you get the lounges True. so that was nice to get rid of that hassle early in the morning when we just woke up yeah. and Check you get in. access to marhaba services, marhaba yeah? services yeah where they took us around that shout out to them as well yeah. um and then we just yeah went to the lounge we got the we ate the meals and whatnot had breakfast and just got ourselves ready I unfortunately had an experience because <laughs> someone it literally says when you walk into that lounge, it someone offers uh, shoe shining, right? Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, that's cool, right? I'm guessing it's free, so I was like, all right, out of sight, out of mind. I'm about to, we're about to leave, right? I think there was 20 minutes, 30 minutes left. Not Shady, even. Shady and then you go to the bathroom, and a worker comes and asks if I want my shoe shine, my Crocs. I'm like, oh, I might as well, you know, we're here in the lounge. It's probably free. By the way, he meant cleaned. You don't, you don't shine, not shine the Crocs, but. I'm, because you said Crocs what are you like trying to say? Oh, well, clean and shine. What are you trying to say about the Crocs? Nothing. I'm sorry. Ah, well. But yeah. before yeah. you yeah. continue, yeah. just flies, so you guys know. Flies premium economy just, once and business class once. <laughs> Look at him. Crocs don't exist. Typical bougie. Yeah, this guy comes, takes the shoes. I'm like, all right, it's probably free. What not? Whatever. He comes back and then he wants his money. And I'm like, first of all, I don't even know what money. And we had to give him cash. And he wanted cash of Didham or American. And we didn't have either. We had nothing. I'm like, cut, cut, No, nah, he couldn't do cut. And then he didn't have cut. So I've, if I ever see that guy again, I will yeah. give you your money. I he, he gave no, me access did. to his bank details. We, we have, but the bank details didn't work, right? They didn't work? I'm no, not sure. I sent it only had the four, last four digits. Oh, four he didn't digits. give it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. he took a screenshot and he only yeah. got the last four digits. Yeah. So you can't really do much oh. of that. Damn. But then we, mm. yeah, flew back home. It was a good fight. Maybe if you see him at the end of the year. Shout out shout out to the captain that was flying because that landing was incredibly smooth. Yeah. I don't know what was going on, but that was amazing. And then, yeah, back home and look where we are now. Yeah now we mm. just need to do oh. more trips yeah I, i've been traveling a lot yeah. i mean i may be for a lot of podcasts but i went from i went from new zealand solo travel uh for 10 days right i think two days uh, well the day after we had an nf concert yeah. yep. the day after dubai, dubai and then i got back from dubai the day after and then the day hawaii. after went to hawaii <laughs> yeah. and now, we got, now yeah. i stopped we got LA until in la yeah. which is in six days <laughs> yes no, oh no ten, nine days nine, nine days, days. Nine days. Nine days. Nine. so yeah got a lot of traveling it's going to be a lot of big things this year uh at least i think we'll go around really quickly and say personal experience uh once again thank you uh visit abu dhabi i really would recommend going to abu dhabi and dubai if you get the chance they're both really beautiful cities there's a lot to do i had an absolutely amazing time of course i am very lucky to be able to experience the i the things that i did and i know a lot of people don't have access to that but if you do get the chance i highly recommend it it was amazing yeah uh, same for me uh, it made me just want to go back with my wife obviously and my future son 
Um, yeah, basically to what he was saying, I think if you're there, you absolutely should make the time to go to Abu Dhabi. Like it's they're so vastly different, but so worth the experience. Like as they said, the mask one, blah blah blah. It's just yeah, have to make time for both. If you're gonna travel there, make at least a week and a half. I think is enough time. And then yeah, just ten out of ten trip for me. It was really really good, memorable. For me, I need to get to the point where I need to do more. These guys, obviously, you heard me go silent for a bit because they did a lot. I didn't do as much, so I need to do more. Hopefully by December I can do more there, not only professionally but for leisure as well. And even though my time and activities were limited, I st still fell in love with the place. So hopefully I get to go there again, experience it at a better run. So that's what it is for me. Mm. Uh, yeah. As I said before, it's uh, after finishing the trip and thinking about it, it's genuinely become the best trip I've done um it was a very good trip shout out to code soul and shady for making it extra special we have a, this is our first trip actually together without one of us missing usually it would be like me code shady or it'd be me soul uh, code like we've had those experience but luckily it was all of us together we're different just, chemistry we're just missing ali yeah Mo. ali yeah yeah, yeah ali i Mo. wish there's always yeah. it's gonna be very hard to get everyone else but at least like it was a very good trip hopefully yeah. we can run it back with them yeah shout, shout, out, out, to shout out shout out to the teams involved yeah, everyone, everyone. shout out to everyone yeah. that that genuinely shout everyone. out to the crew for being you guys being yeah. real being hmm. fun you know, helping Appreciate me you, out boss. for all this. Shout out, shout out to you for existing. Yeah. Shout out to me for shout existing. Shout out to Code for, for, <laughs> shout out, yeah, shout for out looking, shout after, uh, looking after us. Uh, looking You're after. welcome. Yeah. And uh, before I forget, it's not really forget, but I wanted to say it the whole time. Ramadan Kareem to everyone. Oh, yeah. Ramadan 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 families. To this is going to come out probably after. Everyone this celebrating. Ramadan, we'll Remember to give to the less fortunate yeah. and... Yeah, stay awesome. Remember what you're fasting for. Yeah. yeah. I, I did want to say uh, as well, uh, once again, thank you to uh, the whole Emirates, uh, Emirates team as well. Yeah. And um, I just wanted to say thank you to you guys because yeah, genuinely. You also, it, we obviously we can't do a lot of this without all of Codes fans as well and yeah. the people watching. So it's thanks to you that we get to experience all of these and hopefully... Yeah. We get to do more of it and we get to take you guys along with us and show you the things we, that we, we get always to do. appreciate you guys being part of the conversation yeah. <clears throat> it's mm -hmm. like you guys make us want to do this sort of things this you even one. got soul out of the woodworks yeah <laughs> literally <Exactly. Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, genuinely nice meeting you guys at the convention as well oh yeah we had a smile on everyone's face cool. yeah. they, all the fans and here. they came and talked to us it too goes, it was cool it, it goes cool. without saying this is none of this is possible without them so yeah, yeah. yeah. thank you guys appreciate thank you guys and yeah, we'll see you next time. All right, have a good one. Thank uh, you for listening, peace. guys. Thank you for tuning in. Peace. Till next time. Peace. Bye. -bye.